A boom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dim YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. And now, broadcasting live. We will broadcast live. Live. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. Hey, let's go. You know, it's Teach Dim, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly, welcome to another episode of Extra Class, episode number 349. I trust that everybody who is hearing my voice, seeing my face, you are okay. You are doing well. Um, current viewer, boom, boom, boom. Zane, um, having some well had a little technical difficulties um trying to sort out that and then something there whoa first i'm sorry early <laughs> yeah man so over there um didn't get to stream last night um for some reasons but uh, we're there you know try to do an early stream and get some things out of the way and we'll have reason and, and call it a night you know what i mean so big up to the ones eh? you understand for the people who were looking for us last night and, and never find us then we couldn't find me still because we didn't end up. You understand? But big up on yourself. You understand? The, the whole of vibes. And thing. Um, I'll bring in Scotty as soon as she's she's ready. You understand? Because she has beard and then sitting there. So, um, so I'm going to share that something for me and these things here. But peace for there. Um, happy Sunday. Zane. Um, and thing, and thing, and thing. Who up? The rice and peace done. Who up? Um, you know? Everybody ready for work tomorrow. <laughs> I think hopefully all of you is in. Had a blessed Sunday. So let me share this and get it moving now. Boom. Yeah man. So where we are starting now. Um Lisa Marie, good night, my friend Miss Gloria Morris. Delroy. Simon. Oh, Simon. I can't be Simon to you know. I don't even know. You understand? Time for some ice cream. Yes, sir. Roman Razor, bro. See, James Bond, no, go on. Corn beef, all right. Nothing wrong with that top max, man. When you ask someone why try some corn beef, if you can buy the corn beef and mud something, you understand? You have to reach by corn beef still, you know. You understand? Ox steel and corn beef and, 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 and poor people food like. You see? So, um, there has been some discourse in recent days over. <laughs> Events that arise from Shensia's Alpha album launch, where some ministers of government, some cabinet ministers, if memory serves me correctly, the Minister of Gender, um, Sports and Culture, Bob Zigrange, Alanda Terlang, who is State Minister in that ministry, Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton. Uh, who else was there? I do have a bit more, but probably some other people were there. Were pictured. Um, Graphic, well, I don't have to wear graphics, but they were pictured <laughs> without masks. A fly green, bro. Right? Every time fly green got rid of cost him 100 grand. <laughs> fly green was staying. <laughs> they were pictured maskless at the event um, prior to the disaster risk management and the mask man. Well, I don't know that the mask mandate has been lifted as yet but um mm, yeah lisa anna lisa anna lisa anna as well was there so uh, many people has had many things to say and um you know again the question the que the, the question or the conversation surrounding two jamaica or are all two different set of laws one for the rich and one for the poor in jamaica came up again as you know the Prime Minister, in his infinite wisdom, decided that he will charge the maskless, including the Minister of Health, of $100,000, which should be given to charity and it should be paid over to Babsy. Because <laughs> Babsy didn't have one for mask, apparently. You understand? Scotty, you are not ready for coming on the stream because I don't like nobody can hear 
I don't hear nothing you say, you know? so I don't know if your mic on. So you must know which mic you did select in I think. So I don't know who you are, but I didn't hear before. Probably I true, I let you in the stream. I mean, I let you in, you ready for coming? You hear me? She can't hear if you hear me, let me say I can't hear you. How many fools are you? You look nice though. Yeah, you yeah, hear me? I yeah, hear you loud and clear, man. I tell you something I hear you at talk to you. I'm shaking. Yeah, right? Right? Good night, yeah, guys. Just go night, just go night. Good night, Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, Yeah, right. So, the Prime Minister, as I was saying, because I know you were hearing me, um, mm -hmm. has fined this. Well, the, let me read the title of the article. I was supposed to send her the script, but then we get caught up. I try to fix us up here. Oh, I'll yeah, load up on screen. We got to see me and you there. I'm so glad I'm over there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, you're pretty fit true. Wholeness, wholeness finds starstruck ministers who attended Chen Sia's album launch. So following backlash and outrage from the general public about giving special preferences to promote a Ramesh major, the, f the, 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 the five ministers of government who attended Chen Sia's album launch at Major's Campbell's Boulevard Entertainment headquarters on Tuesday have been fined $100,000 each. Now, Prime Minister Andrew Onus made a revelation during his budget presentation on Thursday. His announcement came after news that effective Friday, March 18, that was the day before yesterday, 2022, mm -hmm. the entertainment sector would be officially reopened. Now, dubbing the ministers present at the launch as starstruck, oh, you said that. Wholeness appointed Minister Olivia Babsy Grange to collect the fines and donate it to a worthy charity. Well, if they want you to teach them foundation. Some people were starstruck and forgot their senses. Wow. I mean, never know that then, then things are coming. I really had I never know that. You didn't know that? No, I didn't read the article. Oh, okay. So some, some people were starstruck and forgot their senses. I believe, wow. they, I believe they should be fined. And so, Minister Grange, who is used, who is used to being among stars, <laughs> and kept her mask on, I am appointing you, Minister, to collect one hundred thousand dollars from each minister who was there, and make a donation to a worthy charity. Now, before me, you finish this, though, Scotty. As far as I know, the disaster risk management, the fines and and um stuff are implemented and 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 and, and stuff by a court of law. Mm -hmm. So, was it? Is it the Prime oh, Minister's the place time. to levy? Right. And even if the mm -hmm. Prime Minister said we are fine on $100,000, shouldn't this mm -hmm. matter then go also the go through the court system? Uh -huh. And then the court decide what the fine is. And then the court decide that. So even mm -hmm. if the Prime Minister, as leader of the party and leader of government, say, we still have to pay mm -hmm. 100 grand to charity each, but the courts are going to deal with the thing. You don't think that, to them, be a, no. you don't think that to them be a better way to deal with the thing? Yes. Because the Prime Minister is not the court of law. No. <laughs> so, Minister, I, I, I just ask the question, you know, guys. You understand? So, we shall be there, you Minister, of, <laughs> somebody said the picture is great today. Give thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> you understand? I've been working on it, working, working, working. So, Minister of Finance, <laughs> Dr. Nigel Clark. Minister of Health, Dr. Christopher Tufton. Minister of National Security. Oh, Chang was there. My name is Carl Vimeo. Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang. <laughs> I want them so Chang that normally I see for Parliament. Yeah. I manage, I manage for, for up in the head sitting there. The other Fly hours. was there. I didn't know Fly. I didn't see Fly. Didn't so I'm not tell you, sir. I'm not tell you, sir, sitting there, brother. Say so Fly, don't feel like you are. I saw um, the, the finance minister, the security minister, the health minister. And sister Babsy. But me I tell us a fly enough for Gar Road, every time Gar Road it costs him hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Horace Chang, Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sports, Olivia Babsy Grange, and Minister Without Portfolio in the office of the Prime Minister, Floyd Green, and the State Minister Alanda Terlang were all in attendance at the album launch. Mm -hmm. They were all photographed, sometimes maskless, hugging and defying social distancing orders. And they interacted with Shensia, Major and other guests, well, as they interacted. 
Now, the breaches of the DRME resulted in criticism from the general public who indicated that the attendance of the ministers was a clear indication of favoritism as the entertainment sector had not yet been formally opened. But in, in, in fairness still, Jamaicans, regular Jamaicans have reopened the entertainment sector for, for a while now. However, that said... It's, but it's true. They look at what party be that keep around their place, around their party. I, I don't know after that. Then me, not, then me, I talk for myself. Me can't talk for you, you know. You understand? I would, I would hope you don't. Yeah, man, I'm speaking on my behalf. <laughs> yes, well, go on. Big up yourself, you know. All Chang and whole man should have a mask on. Yes, for your own safety. Zin, but so Prime Minister Bob's not starstruck. Bob's their own star regular. You understand? Bob's here like teacher, but regular with their own stars. You understand? I saw him make a living. Yes, I think. For the prime, for six and Bob's it. And things. So, I am not sure the Prime Minister charging each of them a hundred thousand dollars. I have no issue with that. If, if that is additional to criminal proceedings against them, like how criminal proceedings were. Um, brought against regular ordinary Jamaicans throughout this whole thing. You get what I'm saying? So this one hundred thousand dollars should be additional to the court of law imposing a fine or levying a fine against the minute. That is my view on the matter. See, in, I, 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 somebody just, you know the comments of the prime minister. It may have been discretion based on his powers. The prime minister is not more powerful than the court of law. If 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 TGM can go in front of the court for this thing, then everybody for go in front of the court for the same thing. It's just that many things. You understand? So it's just a local thing. Eh? I mean, a few days after the prime minister, well, yeah, declared that the entertainment sector is now fully open. Um, the road was crazy Friday evening. I mean, I know I did stay Friday night. I assume so. It was even crazier because I never ventured. But Friday evening, I was near the road. And I saw what go on and my ear go on. So apparently, the thing did set away. Tell Mr. Anderson and Paul. Tell Mr. Anderson and Paul and Louis. How Paul are coming at this? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. If we didn't near the road, eh, we didn't near the road right there. Look a bit close to near our roadside. Yeah, that's that. Okay. And thing. Mm. So, yeah. We not, we not. Ah, boy. But, separate and apart from that, the histrionics. I mean, the optics surrounding that did not look good, especially considering that above all people, the, the two people, the Minister of, of Health and the Minister of National Security, because most of these protocols are formulated through the Ministry of Health, right? And the, 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 the upholding of the DRME is the prerogative of the police force, which falls under the, the, the security ministry. So if you say them two men, they're not wearing a mask, brother. You understand? And thing, and thing, and thing, and thing. <laughs> but the Prime Minister has $100,000. I should have two hundred because normally many Jamaicans, ordinary Jamaicans have paid at least $200,000. So then, why not $200,000? If you get to me, I say. And, and whether 100 or 200 it should be in addition to whatever the courts deal with. She's the head of prosecute. Yeah, but then she can't prosecute something that has not been reported or brought to her attention. You understand? The prosecutors can't just get up and lay a charge. You say, you know, a report has to be submitted to them, to, to the office. So the prosecutor can't just get up and charge DeAndre Small for no reason at all if a file was not submitted to the office by the JCF. I think we're not very informed as how these things work. You know? And as such, we make some pronouncements sometimes that kind of expose us to some things, I don't know. Yeah, son. Yeah, man. But the information out there, man, seek it, man. See it? Yeah. And, and that's how you work for. Just like how many people think that the, the, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution is an investigative body. It is not. It's a prosecutorial body. They don't do no investigation. Files are submitted to them and they provide legal guidance where necessary or they prosecute on behalf of the government. That is what they do, man. But all right, because next thing you're going to say, Paul and my auntie. Hmm. Yo. <laughs> no, but this is something that she would have said she can only prosecute what she's given and she has to go based on the evidence that she's given this is something that i would have heard her said before but people don't really listen you know, and that's so i think we hear what we want to hear i suppose it's one of them things 
dictatorship on the sides, I say, go on. Okay. I mean, that's what we're looking at it. Uh, no, no. Yeah, that's that. Uh, blessed the press that is. Well, go on. Polly. We are dead family. That's why Mr. Andish should arrest them. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Andish can arrest them either. Like that. Just so, but we get where I said, yeah, the police should have proceeded along their authority like they would have done with many other cases. So, I don't know. But we get where I said, but to say, I don't want to say the commission are going out arresting people either. So, that is the next thing. But we get where I said, eh, bribery, unfortunately, bro. It is not unusual for the prosecutors to guide. Yes, when 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 a request is made of them. And and that is the point that we're making. You understand? So whilst whilst it is not unusual, it is normally when detectives or investigators seek advice from the body. Okay. That is the point that we're making, you know. So we don't say they cannot guide investigations, but a request has to be formally made. Or at least I think that is how it goes. So then again, we probably need to inform ourselves some more about yeah, mm. All right. So the Prime Minister's well, Mark Golding budget presentation, um, in response to Dr. Nigel Clark's budget budget presentation. You know what I mean? So a lot was said by both um and thing. The last person for talk is the person we're going to focus on when they say, which is was the Prime Minister. You understand? You know, Mark Golding says some things as as per you know, we said some things. He was very livid about Man and Siaga for the two thousand dollars do together. <laughs> Basically, oh, I think he said that the opposition was not consulted about the situation. And if that is the case, then then we can't understand how that was done. You understand what I mean? I said? And thing. Um also he's saying that man used to depend money by himself, now he depend money with man. <laughs> he don't basically said that we said. So a lot of things were said. He was he also said that um there should be a, an additional forty billion dollar to the to the expenditure to the budget and for some various things. You understand? And uh a whole heap of things. As me say a whole heap of things, but <laughs> me could deal with some things with the prime minister said so no. Stop sending guns here. That's a one thing I say. You yeah, understand? And 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 these things are important because I've been trying to tell people from a long time ago in Bethlehem that whilst we blame everybody for the gun situation in Jamaica, oftentimes we forget that it is Jamaicans who are in the United States who buy the guns and send them come here. And we keep on deflecting that and we blame America because America not doing enough. We blame the government so the ports to to um lose, which is fine, that is true. We get that. But not very often you hear somebody in this discussion saying that the Jamaicans them overseas who left here say they're gonna look better for themselves and them family. I purchase the guns and I send them come here. You understand? And 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 that is the root cause of the situation. Man, I send gun for, for, for control turf, for lock turf, for kill him, him enemies. I, I saw the thing go. So, whilst the ports need to be improved and the security measures around our ports of entries, informal and formal alike, has to be improved. Warm to us, what, what, where the onus is on us as a people, if you stop killing one of them. You know? So, wholeness warns Jamaicans overseas, they will be found and extradited. Funny that he said that because I did a video where an alleged largest scammer was extradited and one of the comments was that, oh, them never say nobody extradited from the United States to Jamaica. So interesting that the Prime Minister said that. So Prime Minister and Jewelness warned Jamaicans living overseas who sent guns to Jamaica to end the practice as the government is intent on working with law enforcement partners to find and extradite them here for prosecution. Now, speaking during his budget debate presentation, Holness said that the government has been making calls on its security partners overseas to assist with the, de assist with the detection of guns coming into the island's ports and, in and the introduction of people overseas sending these weapons to Jamaica. He said our partners have been cooperating with us both on guns and lottery scamming. However, from our side, we must show that we are serious, Holness said. It cannot be that agents at our ports are complicit in facilitating the importation of illegal weapons and the contraband, and nothing is done about it. It cannot be that lottery scammers and other unfit persons are able to get legal guns to carry out their illicit activities. Also, I guess it must touch the FLA thing. 
we are tightening up the FLA and customs. We are sending a message to our security partners that the Jamaican government is serious about stopping illegal guns, gangs, cameras and drugs and we will be seeking to intensify our cooperation with our security partners, particularly the United States, the United Kingdom and Canada. I have a word to all those overseas seek, well, sending back guns to Jamaica and barrels and TVs. Stop it. We will find you. You mean us no good. Can't say, can't say me never did warn you, he added. Auntie. So again, the right things are being said. And <laughs> we have a culture of the right things being said on the political platform. But no action or enough action or sufficient action is brought into play to match what was said. So whilst it is good to hear that they understand the situation and that they intend to fix it, the time for talk is over and an action we need. You understand what I mean? Not a bag amount. The Prime Minister should have put that in motion before. It's like he put the horse through the gate. We will see how much of the money going to charity or taxpayers going to foot that bill. Uh, I kind of loaded me sure. Zane, the Prime Minister also said our next thing. So Jamaica's prisons is a national security risk. I mean, we have been talking about this for a long time. New way, big up yourself, you know. So Prime Minister Wallace has acknowledged that despite the efforts of the authorities, High-risk prisoners continue to direct their criminal enterprises from behind bars. He has described the country's penal institutions as a national security risk. Too often, our intelligence points to crimes being directed from prisons, including the ordering of murders, Holness said. See? He also acknowledged, Scotty carried them by upscale me and road load though. He also acknowledged that prisoners are getting help in smuggling cellular phones into the prisons. Noting that the phones and other contraband do not walk into the prisons by themselves. As it stands now, our prisons are a national security risk. He sought to ensure that the administration was moving to address the risk and said the construction of a modern high security prison was intended to do so. So it's like James Bond, make, James Bond, you call the Prime Minister. Because from what they ask, we need new prison, brother. So it look like you man, here you you understand? So apparently they are pr planning to build a new high-tech, high-security, modern prison. <laughs> the Prime Minister said the plans for the prison which are being developed by the Jamaica Defence Force are close to completion. Okay. We consider this matter of great urgency to be expedite expedited through the public investment process. He said that efforts will be made to source the funding to start the project in the upcoming fiscal year, which gets underway on April 1. Scotty birthday. Mm -hmm. Brother, you know, just hear Richie, who are PFA, let me tell her. Let me read. He said, We consider this matter of great urgency to be expedited through the public investment process. He said efforts will be made to source the funding to start the project. Now, must tax pay, brother, what, you, what kind of question? It's like you care what your woman and your ox will go pay for your food. Then you know, brother, tap it Because <laughs> okay. you don't even know where I'm going. And the way that I go pay for your food, Richie. Can I look like you know, said <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, they can't use a cell phone jamming device. Yes, they can, you know. They, I don't think they are jammers. But with technology, you understand? It's just like how oh, you, you know, if you access certain sites and VPN make you access certain sites. There's always a workaround with technology. You see, so they have been finding ingenious ways, whether it is bribe, bribing of um, correctional officers and such and such and such, but there are ways, you understand? They'd wonder if, I, if I England are going to pay for it. Remember them, they reject that one, you know, Richie? So I don't know, a new prison won't, do, won't, won't work due to bribery and lack of compliance and security, which is very true, Dre. So what the Prime Minister, if you listen to what he said, you know, he said that you cannot have correctional officers being complicit, you understand, with smuggling of contraband. So apparently they're working to treat with that. Because correctional officers have been arrested in the past and in recent times as well, having been found to be in breach of them things. So I don't know. I mean, again, the right things. Let me finish reading this first. Yeah, Richie, but we're going to be um, however, he warned that regardless of how big we made, so listen to this now, Jay, and and the person I said, but um, jammers, 
Listen to something here. However, he warned that regardless of how big we make the walls or the number of cameras we install and how far we locate the prison, if there is collusion between guards and prisoners, phones and other contraband will get in and messages and instructions will get out. The Prime Minister said that it was for these reasons that the Corrections Act was amended in 2021 to add criminal sanctions to those who facilitate and benefit from the trading in contraband. Jo Jeffan Hunter, brother, whilst me can't disagree with you none at all, me hope you're wrong on that one, bro. You understand? Because the truth is, bro, a, a lot of crimes are committed with orders from prisons. How was it, Scotty? Very, very oh, me can't hear. No, okay, <laughs> you okay, can't okay, hear. Okay. okay, right. So I mean, and and I, I I'm liking the comment section tonight. You understand some very mm -hmm. probing questions and and suggestions and recommendations and and things. Good girl, Rosie. Wah go on. Auntie, me like the comment section. Look like some intelligent people at school that week. You mm. understand? Mm. Next thing you hear, you teach, then you hold it with their hold every time. So, you mean with the intelligence? But that's what I say, you understand? As long as warrants pay short, the only building will, only the building will change. <laughs> yeah, Jaja, um, there's a the fear coming still, Auntie. Well, I suppose they are probably looking into increasing the salaries to, to, to correctional officers. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's that. So, but, 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 sir, you could have increased it 10 different times. Um, people just always love money. Mm. So, the love of money? The love of money is the problem. The love of Cause money. Because, yes, you can say, well, if they are poorly compensated, then they might more likely to, to take bribes. But then it's susceptible to bribery. Yeah, but then you're, you're still improve the compensation. Yeah, man, I still want a little bit more. Uh, ah, jokes. The more they get it, the more they want it, eh? Yeah. And why? Uh, well, it rough this, but as, <laughs> as, as as I have said before, though, and, and in relation to the new prison, whilst this prison seemingly is for high, yeah. high, high, high profile prisoners, um, probably alleged, well, convicted gang leaders and, 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 and them something there, um you know my view on new prisons i think that the, the money that we, what we plan to invest in new prison we should invest it in social and economic programs so as to catch the youths from their young and prevent them from a part of the part of deviance so you have less males matriculating into the penal systems in the Matric penal system <laughs> yeah almost matriculate like a school fee man and brother study man and study for so I'm matriculate or matriculate. You understand? Matriculate. Integrity is a problem. It's not money. Ha, ha, ha. I believe so. That's so. a very good point. That's what you know. Every country prison have so country. Yes. Anyway. Yes, Hamilton. Akin. I think it's the first time. I'm, let me tell you my life in the comment section tonight. Every prison country have contraband, which is true. You understand? And the problem the reason for that is because every country have people who are supposed to be upholding the rule of law. Breaking the rule of law. Yeah, mm -hmm. sir. That is a problem, you know. So, we still have to treat with ours, you know. Even though we know it's a problem. Well, we, we know it's a problem. Matriculation into prison. But it look like that's a good moon line. You know, see, that's a good man. The man them left school and just matriculate. I drop out of school and... Uh, them, you think I want, want smuggling drugs into prison just to be bad? Money. Yeah, we know that, you know. Well, sometimes it's not just money because I have heard of cases where correctional officers reside in the same community where they done where their prison come from them know they wanted that then grow up scott you're trying to even make like sitting you know then 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 yeah where you put up three so things and, say, yeah then if me, if me, if me does attack a chair you understand auntie let me put three things in there for you, you use the middle one as balance and boy i'm gonna tell you you have a weird Okay, all right, yeah, no, the, the, the all you see, see it's not about all right. I'm not arguing with the right at all. You understand? You're lean. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so I may say, still involve money, perhaps not. And this is the point that I'm making now. I have done a video about correctional officers being killed 
um, down the years. See? Long time, about 2017, we did that video there. And one of the things that came out in the research is that some of the correctional officers then come from them come from the same community with the Dan them. And the Dan say, you are going to teach. Mm-hmm. You know, say a, a thing around a, around a yard with more pick up for me and can't, can't come, man. But the teacher say, you know, so I really can't do that you know, because X, but then the dance say, you are going. So you also got burned down, you know, you left the community, you know, if you got dead, you know. You understand? So sometimes it is just more than money. That is a fact. You see mm-hmm. what I mean? It is just a fact. But a lot of times, probably most times, it is money. But sometimes it's not, not just money. Sometimes the correctional officers are put in a position where they become fearful for not only their lives, but also for the lives of their loved ones. You understand? Scotty, you state measure and sit in the middle. Yeah, brother, she don't need a tape measure. Right? Yeah, he's sitting on three piece. <laughs> one in a middle, so make sure you see a chair in front of one in a middle. They didn't know that. You understand? I remember that video teach out of fear they have to. Yeah, bro. So that apartheid. So it is easy for us to say some things that is not a lack of integrity either. Uh, I'm not sure. You see me? So it, it, it kind of dicey. You understand? And I don't think I would work as a correctional officer. That doesn't true. My brother go sell banana chips and back juice. Me I tell you. God no. You understand? So big up to the correctional officers, cause I don't think that can that is the easiest job in the world. Zane and thing, but you know, somebody have to do it, but no me. So I respect you. Know. Yeah man. Yeah man, I prefer go also, man. Mm. And banana chips and phone card, man, and these things, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. Then girl I come in from work thirsty. I have to put them back juice in a cup get them. That's true. Can't hold me a ton. Little, little one there, right? You can't hold me a ton, Scotty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, understand? Quick time, I have one back juice supermarket to run off, man. And then sit there. We'll see that thing. Yeah, also. So, and then things. So, whilst... And, and... As I said before, we have a culture of politicians speaking. See? This is an mm-hmm. indication that you know, they understand the situation on the ground and policies are being crafted to treat with. I hope that these things are not just, you know, nine day wonder or new love. You understand? We'll fade out after a while and that come five, ten years down the road, we'll see the benefits of these programs and policies and we can reap those benefits in a, in a real tangible way. You see? Mm-hmm. And thing, and thing, and thing, and thing. Big up to the people on the Sunday night, you know. Oh, what's church? What if you pray for me, you know? You understand? Oh, what you pray for yourself? Good prayers. So, yeah, some prayer warriors, me know that. They know why they're a prayer warrior for, you know, pray for people. Yeah, me know, understand, you know. People have their skill on the one they use. Me it's not a prayer warrior. If people them are trained for prayer, pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask a question, though, sir. Is yeah. it that they are aiming to upgrade the prisons that already exist? It I mean, hear no indication of that. You understand? But why go ahead and build new and not upgrade what already exists? Because sometimes up, sometime upgrading your house is more expensive than mashing down and building back. You say that. You say that. What? You don't agree? No, I'm just asking. Some, some, some brother, like Spanish town prison from about 1900 million. No, on a serious level. From about 19, mm-hmm. before about 1901, then time, you know. 18, 89, 18, 96, you know, I remember the date now, but I know the region, you know. You understand? So, some of them prisoners, you know, f- 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 retrofit and rebuild and upgrade, sometimes it's just, you know, worth it. You understand? So, sometimes some building, you just mash them down and build them back. Okay. Eh, yeah, so, I mean, but I, mean, I haven't heard anything about upgrading these. I know the Horizon probably can take some upgrade. The Horizon mm-hmm. is probably our newest penal institution, so that that would probably be easier, up, easily upgraded. When you think about plumbing and electricals and all of them, something like that, mm-hmm. you go through all of them, so, so now you have to just mash down and then sit there. Wasn't there a story about the prison can't afford to feed the inmates? Well, I, no, it was that the, the bill high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. Not that they can't feed them, it's just that cost me and you as taxpayers incredible mm-hmm. sums of money so annually. You understand? So I, do, I don't think there is a, there is an inability to feed. It's just that it is expensive, Ex- exorbitantly expensive. No, in the budget presentation, the Prime Minister touched a thing where it's dear to my heart. But very shortly, I mean, I appreciate the fact that more 
more time and, and, and energy wasn't placed on this zine. Like, it's just a brush off thing. The cockpit country protected area gets legal backing. I mean, I love that, you know. Let me talk a little bit. The cockpit country protected area has been given legal protection under the National Resources Conservation Authority Act. Mm -hmm. eh? The protected area is approximately 3,292 hectares larger than the 74,726 hectares announced in 2017. I couldn't less. You understand? So, saying that it is 3,292 hectares larger now is supposed to suffice. No, it won't. Well, not for me. This was disclosed in Parliament in, uh, by Prime Minister Andrew Holness. So, Holness declared that there will be no mining in the cockpit country protected area. Yes, Mr. Holness. We have heard you from time immemorial saying that. That is not mm -hmm. the concerns that, that is not the concern that people have. It is not that you're going to mine within the boundary. It is that you're going to mine on the boundary, along the boundary, just outside of the boundary family. So stop trying to insult your intelligence, Mr. Prime Minister. You do that far too often. It is very unbecoming. Yeah? And then what are we a fool? Yeah, sir? And some of you might jump, but we don't fool, like Tom. <laughs> So saying, and, and you see, I, mean, I appreciate these things, because that's a God of above. Right? You know, as a trained geographer and environmentalist, this, this rubbed me the wrong way. You understand? And I am not against mining, you know. See, mm -hmm. what I am against is mining arbitrarily without consideration to the ecological, geological, ideological effects that will arise from my invariably. There can never be any mining without harm being done to the immediate environment mm. that is being... It's just impossible. It don't matter what... If a large-scale mining, you're, you're going to have some degradation to the immediate surroundings. Whether geologically, hydrological, ecological, all of the allergy there. Allergy there. You know what So the Prime Minister is saying that it, the era that was proposed in 2017 of 74,700, it is now 3,200... And 92, that is not comforting in any such way. And that, no, that there will be no mining within the cockpit country protected area. Mr. Prime Minister, you know that the stakeholders have long said that the boundary is not where it should be in the first place. And subsequently, to special mining lease, one, I, mean, I remember, I think a 173, Zin, where the boundary there, yes, sir. And we are mine. Right. Let me see. Let me camera. So the boundary there, yes, so and we are mine, yes, so. Then might as well we are mine across the boundary there, so. You understand? So these are the things that the prime minister needs to address and stop taking the fool. That is there's, no, is. there's no great buffer zone between the boundary. Exactly. And the, Which great? What do you mean? There is no buffer zone. What do you mean okay. great buffer zone? What do you mean? Stop. Stop trying to play diplomatic and the political role as a brother. The for me, cause a tear. As somebody who is, is an environmental scientist, may not appreciate an idea though. Because no, I am as concerned that there's no buffer zone between the area designated for mining and the protected area. That's what I'm asking. Not as far as I know. I think okay. there were some amendments or suggestions one at the time, but we know you're not bored. I'm going to talk to Mr. Dix. You understand? Okay. Auntie. So now, the issue, and, and this is just something when we kind of jot down here, so. And, and, and mm -hmm. I may just read it. So, the issue of the boundary is critically important to where um, is a protected area and where would mining be allowed. So, mm -hmm. I mean, in a way, the question has been settled. So, the lease has been granted. So, then grant the lease. The Prime Minister has announced rather specific areas to be protected. But I don't think that those of us who have had issues with the prospect of mining in the cockpit country would be satisfied with that. No, we cannot be satisfied. We will never be satisfied. Until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty street. That in a Bible or in a one part, but Martin Luther King said, you know, you know, I have a dream. Yeah, man, in a Matthew somewhere. Matthew, but Matthew 5, somewhere, boy, please. Or Matthew, somewhere in a Matthew. Yeah, son. Yeah, man. Eh. So, the Prime Minister take with food. And that, yeah, that is what it is, Scott. Me, I tell her. I'm, I'm, all right. Me, I talk to me now. Yeah, mm -hmm. son. This is a take with a fool moment. So, okay, me did say this in 2017, but me give you no, this extra. So, we, we feel good. No, negative. 
and I I hope and, and see now it has been gazetted, you know, because this now under the National Resources Conservation Authority Act. Yes. Mm -hmm. See? So <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean no I mean, do an article I covered an article recently where there was some um consideration and, and um what's the word I look for? Some concession on the miners mm -hmm. part as to some things, but it still no matter. That era for its geological value, for its mm -hmm. ideological value, Zane, for its ecological value, for all of the values them, it, mm -hmm. it you're not gonna way near it. You understand? Remining. You see? And it's a next take with a fool moment. And I don't like to be taken for a fool. You see? Okay, so it would be interesting to, to talk to me. I we should. I don't even know. I mean, everything about bringing on Mr. Dixie. You know? oh, Mr. Dixie. Uh, but Mr. Dixie, internet. No, I don't know. Chill on it. You know, I forgot link him. I find out what's going on with it. I will probably bring him in. Pan of just a phone call. Kind of easy, you know, sir. And think, mm -hmm. you know, we can do all things. You know, through Christ. You know, we buy a computer. You know, you know sir. <laughs> a joke. A joke. Yeah, yeah. So. Me not, me not like that. I mean, I don't like it, Mr. Prime Minister. And all of the people that we normally watch, you understand? Whether for right way, say we are called people named wrongly, or if we say we are defame them, them people, them, and we watch on behalf of tell the Prime Minister something I like it. I mean, no one there. You understand? And welcome to. You know, we appreciate the views that we get from you. you see? Work yeah, all away. Work all away at work. You see me? No, look at good news. Because normally some people are teaching no good news on the stream. Then they I don't make a news in the family. Then me just share it with you. But look at good news. Remember recently um the American State Department issued a travel advisory against Jamaica. Say no got it. They just have a right it like that. But that, that is said, no got it. You understand? Um the CDC has lowered the travel advisory against Jamaica. So the U.S. Centers of Diseases Control and Prevention (CDC) has lowered the COVID-19 travel advisory against Jamaica from level four to three. Level three categorizes destinations as having a high level of COVID-19, but we now have that to know, compared to level four, which indicates a very high level of the virus. Things kind of depend on local level. I think we have about what, 30 odd cases, but the truth is, since the opening of the thing Friday night, we have about one extra thousand cases. That is, that is, that is I think. So Delano Seafright, seen as strategist in the tourism ministry, says the revised advisory will have a positive impact on the tourism industry. So we are quite happy with the news coming out of the United States. So we expect more positive developments in the coming months as COVID-19, while still a problem globally, continue to recede. Well, not in China. Now nah, recede there. A vaccination, as vaccination rates continue to go up, that people still get vaccinated. When last year, everybody yeah. said they get Yeah. As vaccination rates... Yeah, I get booster. Booster. I don't want that. If me mm. take it, I don't want, me want a booster, brother. If me, if me take it in, in a six months, and me have to get booster now. Then you don't want me take that, brother. Give me a booster alone, man. You understand? Yeah, Scotty, they say. Scotty. Scotty is the truth. Then me take this six <laughs> months ago, Scotty. Then me tell her. Hold on, hold on. We'll come have a talk, right? We'll come have a talk. Mm. See? See. But we don't fight the person, you don't want a booster, sir. You say, if you take, if you take the vaccine, you're not yeah. taking any booster. You what say me that? take booster for? So quick. Give me a booster then. If I eat the latest thing, me take that. I don't know about that. You may sit there all day, Can I then sit there? So like, sit for there. Backside. So now, um, ask about the advice. It was twofold, you know, because the State Department did say, you know, for because of crime and thing. So, mm -hmm. I don't know about that part there. You understand? But it's good. Um, I heard the Minister of National... No, 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 no. The Minister of Tourism said that they're expecting a record number of tourist arrivals for March. Over 200,000 and things. That not sound bad for people who have stock like CPG and anything. And Dolphin Co. But just I put it out there. You understand? <laughs> so... So no one going in the market and see what going and see if you can make some money. We tell us there's opportunities if you know if you look for it. And it, yeah, it doesn't that. sound bad for persons who work within that industry. Right. Also. Uh, also. I mean, right? Very yeah, good. Very good. Things that have been slow for a while. For, um, a, for a long I mean, time. Yeah. <laughs> you see? But I want to tell us that the tourism sector been very resilient in Ascati. Based on if you, yeah, if, you, if you actually look at the figures, um, teach them you have to take something. 
for us to boost. Oh, to so boost. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> so. That is true, sir. You must be taking vaccines to get the no, boost. No, no, no. We don't want that. You first have to... Yes. Up. Hello. All right. So you, Williams, blessings, and D. Jones, I don't want people... Be of the opinion that I don't know that. I am totally aware of that. <laughs> I am just making a point. And the point is this. Read the booster shot. I think that if you're going to take a vaccine, the yeah. turnaround time for a booster shot is not supposed to be a shot, family. You understand? That is my thing. So I know that you can't just boost in here. So you have to take the vaccine. I know. So what I'm saying is that based on where I sit, I mean, if, if I t- took the vaccine, I'm mean, going to take a booster so quick. I don't want it. That's all I'm going to say. You understand? The vaccine. So when we take vaccine for, for brubel and mums and yellow fever and ch- all of these things, the vaccine will last your lifetime, brother. You're not taking a booster for, for brubel and, 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 and to TB and then sit there. Then, TB and then. Speaking about TB, I soon talk about that. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so I hear you go on. Yeah, so right now, I'm going to body car for me like, you know. You have to take for yourself. You understand? You depend on that. See? So, uh, that's all I say. Me know, Jesus Christ. Yo. <laughs> all right. You know what? I learned that next thing. So, so, sometimes leave you know something. Alone. Yeah, just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because I don't know why people are of the view that I don't know that. Like, who do you think very little of me for the think me they know that though? Like, but that's how you got. I say you're fine if the people think about you. Know. They say if you want to know if people think about you, pretend like you're dead. <laughs> you want to know where the odd job is easy. Yeah, man. Yeah, what do you do easy? Yeah, yeah. sir. I think. Um, hey, hey, I like that you're always telling us about profitable investment. I am not a. I let the record show. I am not an investment advisor. I am just saying opportunities Exhibit are there. A? Eh? Exhibit A. We're in the into evidence. <laughs> Up, up, opportunities are there if you know where to look and if you know what to look for. Yeah, so, so um, moonlight, don't, 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 don't mix me up. <laughs> TJ was waiting on the six way, brother. Don't, don't mix me neither. <laughs> yes, I come against that. Why would you say that? Yeah, I do, yeah, man. Alright, so more good news. I'm going to tell you, so we're going to go good news thing right now. You, know? you understand? Cause, yeah, man, do that. Yeah, man. Fitch affirms B plus rating for Jamaica. You understand? So, mm-hmm. Fitch ratings has affirmed a B plus rating for Jamaica's long term debt, which is a stable outlook on economic conditions. That is very good. You understand? So, Jamaica's B plus rating is supported by World Bank governance indicators. A favorable business climate. So if you don't want to start one business, as long as you can deal with the bureaucratic red tapes and hurdles and patrols, the outlook not bad. So a favorable business climate and consistent fiscal policy efforts to lower the debt burden. These trends are balanced by vulnerability to external shocks. We, 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 have, that, we have that for true. Average gross domestic product growth um, below peers, a high public debt level, and that debt composite, we know this is for some people. The long and short of stories, you see? The, the outlook good as it relates to economic conditions for the short term. You understand? Because I'm not going to get into the, the technical. Because the truth is, I don't even understand some of it neither. But just know say it look good. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good look. Just know say it thing not look bad. See? Yeah, man. There's, there's work with it that way. It's all good news. Yeah. The news came over that a big wave is on its way soon. There will always be waves with this thing, you yeah, understand? Some are going bigger than some, you yeah, understand? It's like a tsunami, you yeah, understand? The, 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 the wavelength that accompanies a tsunami is massive sometimes, and the waves can occur for hours upon hours upon hours until the sea regains back um, balance. You see me? Yeah, so it's, it's just like a tsunami. Just think about that. So some waves will cause greater damage, and then with, with each wave in a tsunami, it will cause more and more damage as water is pushed further and further inland and all of these things. Uh, look at geolis, but we're not getting into that right now. But we have, we have, we have always, as long as breeze are blowing, you have water, there will be wave, man. Yeah, man, a friction cause it, so I do so things. So we have a come and we have a go. Uh, but we have to live. You yeah, understand? You and the dogs, them. Me and the dogs, them. Everybody do this. I forgot just learn to live with the thing and keep it learn going. Swim. Some people, st- I not stop wearing my mask. And, I, and, and in the best of time, I don't always wear my mask consistently. A regular scatter mechanism is. And thing. But me still wear my mask. You yeah, understand? Yeah, 
Auntie. Right now, I'm going to buy about 100 masks for you. Let me can't make them. They are weird. Eh? And then when them they don't know that's buy some more too. You see me? So, everybody free for decide for them one thing. But me I wear my mask. I just decide thing. You understand? So, hmm. Because as far as me know, clinically, I have not contracted COVID. But, you know, you can't catch it. Are they Are they Well, I may not catch that long time. Flu still I haven't had the flu. I haven't had the flu since COVID. I know. Yes, and so. Look, I never catch Zika or Chick V. I didn't sit there. I didn't want them. I didn't want the COVID. You never catch Chick V. Yeah, I want to catch catch things, miss. You last if I catch a. You last if I catch a. I want to say pink eye. Because they need to say I can't catch you again. Lie them and tell. Lie them tell him. You understand? I think pink eye and chicken pox are only two things never really catch. Our moms and the lock jar, do we not catch them sitting there? Never not lock jar, moms and me, so not lock jar. We're not even get into that. We not catch, well, I, dengue, I, dengue. Dengue, well I, as I said, I haven't been clinically diagnosed as contracting any of those, but you know, you can catch it and your symptoms are such that you don't know. But as far as we mean, you know, I yeah. me not catch them things. Yeah, I understand. COVID, I get it. I go, I get it. Yeah. I don't want that. Should I go look for you? I remember I can't look for you. I'm putting your thing in my gate and know. left. Then, me, you know, oh, they never <laughs> take a skirt and don't talk to me. Like. Yes, yeah, sir. We had this yeah. conversation. All right, so we're going to move on here, sir. Um, more good news. I suppose you look on it. Oh, one more thing. I'm speaking about opportunities. You see, as the world opens up, look a bit. You know what I'm um, Trade will improve again. So places like Jamaica, Cargo and Glass, I, 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 I go make some money. So that's a stock that is publicly traded again. The Wharf is a publicly traded company. But just a set. You understand? So, and again, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just saying opportunities are there if you know where and how to look for it. You understand? So, eh, one less slippers and one less frack. One less pants and one less short. You know, you probably can buy a one and two stock. You know, I think, uh, yeah, turn one into one. I want to say, me buy some stock for one of my friends one day, and as me buy stock, them, so then dip. Then me, I say, what kind of cross is this, man? So we are wait for them, them, them grow back, so they can make some money. You understand? So that's why I'm even too bad with it, you know. Whilst my, 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 <laughs> what am I going to that now? My level of, 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 of risk. Right, my risk profile, that is the correct terminology. <laughs> I am not a financial advisor. My risk profile is higher than, than, than some people. That's all. You understand? But, eh, oh, until I say, me I try and mirror my portfolio for one of my linky recently. And that's because of boom, so. I'm buying the stocks, then the stocks, then jump. But me I say, watch your Christ. I give you people money. I really like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hopefully... Then things yeah. and then make back their money and make back some money and then sit there and, and think and be, 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 be rude myself after the ass because yeah, so people money and their money. <laughs> <laughs> JFP are going good. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, based on their list, what was um the, the, the IPO price, but they went up to $1.90 and dropped to like $1.35. Friday, Thursday, Friday. So, mm -hmm. that is not. And your focal is going good. And I could give you a whole mm -hmm. lesson there, but I won't mm -hmm. I won't. But if you got if you were lucky to get um any focal shares, that, that price about three hundred percent up. It was one dollar and I, I think one dollar IPO and it closed at about three dollars something Friday. Wow. Yeah man. Z Ante. And IPO less than one oh one, quick and fast. The fewer stocks that are on offer by the company nor is normally an indicator of how the stock might perform when it lists. Why? Because if few stocks are available, it means that everybody won't get what they apply for. And the demand that listing will be great and demand drive prices. Again, I am not a financial advisor, but big up on myself. Talk to I, I think J I think JPS I think JPS a JPS IPO is somewhere around the corner. And we right. ball for light bill every day and then something there. We always have to use light until we read solar and these things. So then why not own I remember when you buy stocks, you are buying into a company. You become a shareholder. You're an owner of the company. You're a part owner. Mm -hmm. 
But our next story for you next time. You know, all every stock, brother, depend. The most important thing in trading is your goal. That is it. And your goal determines when how long you hold for and when you sell. But this is not a trading stream. Me gone, me gone. Cause I wanna, I wanna, I wanna jam it on your wrong road, you know. I mean, it's not a financial <laughs> advisor, a stock advisor. How much time I tell you no? All right. So Jamaica Customs Agency seizes over US one million dollars at ports since twenty. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a cash in a family. US dollar me at a boat and me at a Jamaican dollar you know. one million Jamaican dollar port and a chicken feed as. Robbie Pickers, you'll say. But traffic mm -hmm. guru money like. Me talk about traffic guru thing last time. Mm-mm. Bam bad. Me need to talk about it when I'm time. I mean, how come me not talk about traffic guru? You did it though. Yeah, you did that's it. That's strange. Yeah. Eh. Me not even ask you better, but the traffic guru thing, a chicken feed thing, man. If you have food. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, nothing came out of it. Nobody was, the Dutch authorities said that they were satisfied. Um, mm -hmm. Former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller was exempted from the trial. Apparently, she's ill. Mm -hmm. um, uh, apparently, I don't know the specific situation or her condition, but I trust that she will be recovering. And I thought of something, you know, KD Knight represent all of them. You know, so I have some high drama business and this and this and this. Politics at its best. Yes, it but all right. So Jamaica Customs Agency has revealed that since April of 2021, it has seized a whopping total of 957 million six hundred and sixty-four thousand US dollars. Wrong. Let me do that again. 957,564 dollars. Yes. So that's almost a million US dollars in a red. Forty thousand one hundred and thirty-five pounds. That's the end of me well right now, you know. Canadian six thousand four hundred and thirty-five dollars in illicit cash at the nation's port and has investigated sixty-two financial cases. Mm -hmm. According to a release, there was also the forfeiture of two hundred and seven thousand two hundred and one US dollars and Canadian seventeen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars to the Crown under the Proceeds of Crimes Act. So the disclosure was made by Commissioner of Customs and Chief Executive Officer Empress Velma Ricketts Walker at a joint press conference on broadening the use of proceeds of crimes a act, which is poker, um, on Thursday. So the commissioner pointed out that the movement of Ill illicit money very often traverses international borders and that the Jamaica Customs Authority has an essential responsibility in the fight against money laundering and cutting the financial lifeline of transnational organized crime. Now, Ricky Walker explained that the agency is empowered to fight cross-border illicit activity and was strident in declaring the agency's non-tolerant approach in this regard. That is a lot of money. A million US dollars. I want a million. I am an in. Yeah, son. I get a million US dollars now. What million do you do? I don't know for you to do it. Eh? Well, you know, you know, you know the, the immediate goals, naturally. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Look here. What just give me five hundred thousand US dollars? I don't want a mill, man. Me good with that. Me yeah. make life. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Take care of the kids yeah. and my wife. Yeah, sir? Eh, mm -hmm. Nah pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. Anderson and Scott branded grossly incompetent. You know which Anderson me attack? Um, Assist Major General Anthony Anderson. Yeah, policeman. Yes, sir. The, well, nice two, one, like, know not so, two public officials have been tagged grossly incompetent in an integrity commission report for their handling of two contracts that cost Jamaican taxpayers $20 million. The report, which was tabled in Parliament on March 8, covered an investigation into allegations of the non performance of a contract awarded to car dealership GM Challenger by the Jamaica Defence Force in 2020. 2014. The report found that Major General Anthony Anderson, the then Chief of Defense Staff at the JDF, and Gilbert Scott, a former permanent secretary in the Ministry of National Security, as the relevant yeah, just as the relevant accounting officers were cavalier in the manner in which the procurement activities were conducted for the contracts awarded to the company. They allowed the same entity. GM Challenger to be twice paid deposits 
totaling approximately $20 million for vehicles ordered but not supplied and that no refunds of those deposits have been received to date. 14 that are 6 and 2, 8 years at any brother. Then check in the way I'm sure. Eh? Anna Shaki. Anna Shaki? Mm -hmm. Oh, your neighbor, them out and braffing, <laughs> though. Out and stunted. <laughs> all right. So, basically, the long and short of this is that them order some vehicle from GM and pay deposits twice in the sum of $20 million. And up to this day, apparently, no vehicle no come here. That doesn't look good. 20. <laughs> Watch, I mean, so I'll go on around there, so. Yeah. Uh, the report also said that both Anderson, the current commissioner of police, and Scott breached section A763 of the Commission of, uh, of the Public Sector Procurement Procedures when they authorized the partial payments to GM Challenger without first obtaining an advanced payment security from the company. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. In May of 2014, the JDF contacted Chucked GM Challenger to provide a new ambulance at a cost of US $113,803 with a two month deadline. An advance payment of $6,097,777.28 was made to the company, which failed to deliver the vehicle, resulting in the JDF terminating the contract. Building well starts with a few clicks. A request for a refund was made, but GM Challenger replied with a claim for a loss as it said it suffered because of the termination of the contract. <laughs> GM Challenger said money would have been spent on ordering the manufacturing of the chassis for the ambulance, which had to be speci specially retrofitted for the JDF. It, was also, it also made a claim for damages for breaches of confidentiality. The company said that it failed to meet the deadline because JDF had been indecisive about the type of ambulance it wanted. Okay. GM Challenger said that the JDF was informed that the ambulance it wanted would have taken five months to procure. The dealership said the JDF indicated sometime after that it could not wait and instead settled for another version of the ambulance. <laughs> However, Months later, GM Challenger said the JDF indicated that it wanted the first ambulance, but by that time the supplier had sold the vehicle. Ready? <laughs> Adalios! The JDF subsequently wrote to the Attorney General to take steps to recover the sum paid. In the matter of the Security Minister, the Integrity Commission's report said that it contracted GM Challenger to supply five 40 seater buses to the JDF in 20. In 2006, a deposit of twelve million nine hundred and eighty-six thousand two hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents was made, but the company failed to supply the buses, resulting in the ministry termination of the contract. So there was a problem in 2006, and we still go back in 2004 and buy things from. Okay, all right, that's your right. The same, the same people. That's your right. It's like you're married to a girl and she gave up on a marriage match up on on a divorce, and then you're married her again and expect say. Everything I got. It will work this time, of yeah, course. Yeah, you yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm married to one next man, you know, brother. No, but this time you're going in with your eyes open. You're on my back. Yeah, watch over your shoulder, then I'm not married like that, brother. You yeah, understand? Uh -huh. You want to marry the said person two times after the first time. Mm -hmm. you know, but that then do them marry GM first in 2006 and the marriage. That didn't work out. And mm. then decide to marry again in 2014. Then forget bun. <laughs> yeah, sir. To date, GM Challenger has neither returned the deposit nor delivered the buses to the from 2006. You know, brother. That's been a while. 2006, me a young green boy. You know? I know me a whole man. You know, brother. Has neither returned the deposit nor delivered the buses to the Ministry of National Security or the JDF, the Director of Investigation, said. The Integrity Commission report said a year after GM Challenger was contracted to procure the buses, 
The ministry inquired about the delivery and was told by the company that they would be ready by the middle of the end of the month, August 2007, and that a shipper was being sought. On October 24, 20, 2007, GM Challenger wrote to the ministry advising that the five buses were ready, but there were some challenges in porting them as a shipping cost, which they had included in their bid price move from US 9,000 per unit to between US 16 and 20,000 per unit. This prompted the ministry to request a refund, but instead, the company proposed that the ministry absorb the additional freight charges or allow it to supply police cars from its inventory to offset the obligation. Dalio's business this Yeah, it's that. Yeah, it's coming like me go juicy beef, you know, and tell them say me you want beef patty and cocoa bread. And then give me chicken patty and colour loaf. I know that no one, brother. Yeah, you know Sam. <laughs> the security minister rejected the proposal. Now, Stevens concluded that Anderson and Scott and their um, designate were grossly incompetent at best. Wow. At best, isn't it, brother? Not worse, isn't it? At best. Oh, but in their handling of the contracts outlined hearing, the foregoing is a clear breach of fiduciary on the part of the respective accounting officers who, in contravention of the procurement rules, approved advance payments to GM Challenger without first obtaining the requisite advance payments. Okay. The Director of Investigation finds it in inexcusable that the government of Jamaica, on behalf of taxpayers, remain out of pocket for over 14 years in one instance and over 7 years in the other. Yeah. He said the justification preferred by GM Challenger for failing to meet the con its contractual obligations and or refund the deposits paid were questionable at best, if unacceptable. Stevenson has recommended, among other things, that the current Chief of Defense Staff, Antoinette um, Gorman, identify the officers accountable for the breaches and consequential loss and pursue the necessary disciplinary action to deter such conduct and or minimize the occurrence of similar breaches in the future. The report has been referred to the Attorney General to pursue actions deemed appropriate to put the government of Jamaica, JDF and Ministry of, Nat Ministry of National Security in the position it would have been had GM Challenger not breached its 2006 contract and its 2014 contract. It's simple. Make the Commissioner of Police, uh, Mr. Gilbert Scott, PFE the money, give back the money. Argument done. Duck it from their salary. <laughs> Why are you if te said, there have been cases where, where where teachers have them say they overpay teachers and every month they take the money to your pay. Take you out of the take it back from you. What do you mean? say before me interrupt you rudely? Um Rosie say pin stream elements and I've seen it. Oh oh una try una try give me a look on the money. Oh hold on there. Come in money. Yes. Thanks, Rosie. I never realized. Eh. But sis, if they if you find them responsible, look, yeah, we're sitting so bright. Is it that quick connect? Is it that what? Is it that something they're not giving back the money, the deposit? Yeah, no, yeah. One from 2006 and one from 2014. Yeah. But oh man, I business from 2006 and you know give me one want. I'm still going to business there from 2014. Then I try to show you. Then that don't make no sense. Talk it through. <laughs> oh, Duck it from their salary. But apparently, you know, because the director of investigation at the Integrity Commission mm -hmm. has said the current chief of staff ought to do the, the requisite um, investigation to find out who was the accounting officer at the time. Whilst Major General was chief of staff and the box stops with him, um, I suppose mm -hmm. there was an accounting officer. And thing, but naturally, in VP, in my I think about that, he might get a year about 20 million. He might get a year for salary, man. A last year, money that, yeah, man. I know what DeAndre will tell me because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sore point. <laughs> DeAndre, how much money I hear the commission I get? <laughs> I think I hear Amir. Auntie, eh. Smarty soon tell me. I'll, 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 I'll probably, I'm not sure I'm so much still. I'm good as I'm here tell. But I don't look a bit. 
Oh, oh, I rose it. Didn't want to give me some more money. Rose it. Big up yourself, man. I appreciate it. I <laughs> appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, sir. I think. Um, yeah, yeah and just that twenty. Mil. Twenty mil. Let me now tell us a DJ, no man. DJ, no chat, no catch it. Thanks for the contribution, Rose. Appreciate it. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Um, over there, no. But I don't know. These things and and twenty mil and then. The thing is, in a sense, this is just one of such situations that exists where mm -hmm. taxpayers have been footing bill for things where a long time chopping are going on, and it's sad. Hey, but, and the Andrea, mm -hmm. me and you appear them, I foot them bill, you know, brother, and Scotty and them people, you know, they are, yeah, you know, the Andrea and the rest of them, and them, you know, brother. You see, mm -hmm. 2006, you, you had some bus, you know, get them. See, and the JDF falls under the Ministry of National Security. And the Ministry of National Security order the boss them and they not get them. Then you sit down and watch a JDF order from the same company. Eh, Scotty, I ended up not getting them a second time. Right. Go and talk to you people. Let me come. If you don't, I don't have to say. But then again, my sneaks the white color. Good night, my sneaks. Right now it seems that there's a multiple array of color crimes taking place. Not too sure. Where did I put my glasses? Okay. So the Andrea is really 20 mil that he gets plus allowances or 20 mil including of the allowances. Yeah, I'm here. Don't trouble anything. Stop telling me that. Can you bring more trouble, sir? Yeah, son. Hi, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think your mother and I bought you, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mom, it's nice. Eh. And thing. Yeah, so, until I'm here, start mash up in and let me go and talk. <laughs> Alright, so ready now, sis, to shower there now. So, we that talk about TB earlier. I might, when I tell you to stop making devil ready when you're asleep. Eh? What happened? <laughs> what happened? If it's not a pick up, what do you do to you? I am here. What happened? What do you do? Yeah. Here. I don't want to make a cry about it. You want to go on? You're not having more something. Yeah, probably a train alone. It's a bicycle. Let's soon come again. Go and talk to people. Mm. <laughs> what happened to your pops? Mm. I'm really happy about something, sir. Where is this? Thing? White, pink, black, purple color crime. Two months. I know the tax is stressing me. When I see what I pay for taxes, it hurts my head. I could do so much with it. <laughs> a teacher might pinch you for trade a very mischievous. I don't trust him. He might have done that. It's a, like sometimes I feel a little bit frustrated that you know you pay all these taxes and sometimes you really don't see what they do. Like for me, I I tend to stop looking at what I pay in tax because it really, 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 really bothers me. So I just stop look at it. It just it's just a lot. And then when you hear sometimes how carelessly your money is handled, as, as, as we were saying, you pay for something and you don't get it and the same person you go back to and pay them and next sum of money you make another deposit. So what happened to the initial deposit? Because if it was me, you would have to utilize the first deposit I made. Me not pay a second deposit and I didn't get the first item any which way. So never pay a second deposit and you already have my first deposit. So it's like me I rent a house, we pay a first deposit, I get the house. But the landlord said me to pay a second deposit if I want the house. <laughs> Use my first
rest in peace to mimic already. Yeah, yeah, anything. So, I'm suited no, up. I'm going to keep tabs on Amir. Somebody say I pinch your pinch, Amir. No, sir. Me, Amir, they're more of a pinch me. No. <laughs> Scotty, back, up, back up your chair, look like it's a wheelchair. You want to come push it? <laughs> I was just a quick one to my life. It is it. <laughs> no, my friend, which is not a wheelchair. I can attest to that. It is it. It is it. <laughs> Persons with tuberculosis symptoms urged to seek medical attention. I would suggest that. But teacher, well. nobody did have to tell nobody that? But then, but, but probably they don't know the symptoms, Scotty. But sir, rest so you don't need to get seats, You yeah. don't need to get upset. You don't, they probably don't know. Empress Cookie, big up yourself with me. I appreciate it. Come right beneath the stream on a Sunday. Come back a Sunday morning there, you know. Yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. I appreciate it, Empress. Yeah, man. And thing. Yes, Katty. So calm down, man. Because not half of the top of my yeah. head, me couldn't even tell you all of the symptoms on my TV. Yeah, sir. TV is and, and, uh, Yes, you I would know that. Yeah. Okay. But so is so is the flu. Character. Yeah, that's son. Yeah, I'm here so on my power, sir. I don't know what I'm complaining about. <laughs> and because I'm going to walk up and down in here and then I'm worried. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. That's something I'm going to get plugged out. <laughs> you see me? So, residents of Westmoreland are being encouraged to seek urgent medical attention if they are experiencing any symptoms of TB. Now, Medical Office of Health for the parish, Dr. Marcia Graham, made the appeal while addressing the monthly meeting of the Westmoreland Municipal Corporation in Savannah Lamar last Thursday. So I just want to remind persons that tuberculosis still exists. Thank God we are not having as many cases as we had in previous years. But we need to be alert. And if someone is having a persistent cough with fever, sweating at night, and um, they need to seek medical attention because... It can be tuberculosis. But Scotty, listen, so listen to this now. A persistent mm -hmm. cough with fever and sweating. Mm -hmm. that, that, those are symptoms attributed to, 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 to flu, the common cold. You know? So you are saying that who need to tell you. Yeah, Night sweats, high temperature, tiredness, fatigue, lots of appetite. That sounds like a so COVID. All of those are symptoms of TB. Yeah, that's about, uh, and I mean, I said to you now, say, them symptoms that we have, sorry, yeah, can be aligned to COVID as well. You understand? Yeah. So I, what mm -hmm. I think should be done is, you know, a public education type situation. So we know what we know. You yeah, understand? So saying that... Because then I was having conversation with a couple, couple of our co-workers since me. Mm. And they were not, they were not aware that TB still exists. Oh, yeah? Mm. They didn't know. Yeah, they were saying that they didn't know if, oh. if TB is still a thing. But yeah, TB has always been a thing. Yeah, you know, you know, it never know. stopped. Right. It's just that mm. the regularity of cases has decreased significantly. The frequency but... decreased. Mm. But like National Chess Hospital, they always have um, TB going. Yeah. Scott, you need to go for. Were... Sorry. No, man, go ahead. Let's want justice. <laughs> Um, I think there were one who, when COVID came out, they were saying, you know, they please, were already the wearing me, the N95 mask Thanks. and doing the thing because they were always combating that. Mm. Right. So, yeah. Well, I suppose the mask would help um, suppress mm -hmm. the spread of that too as well, eh? Because it's, yeah. it's airborne. It's contagious like that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, let's continue. Um... Baby. Yeah, you need to go 4.5 <laughs> inches to <laughs> You're right. Yeah, brother, it affect me. It affect, it affect me OCD to bro. Yeah, you know, so I'll be tell her and she asked me for her Yes, I like how specific you are. I really like that. See, so, but just what I do and this a little flyer coming on my space. You know, specific um, dimension that we're doing. Yeah, so we shot with the end. Yeah. Right, so Graham, Graham. Anti mm -hmm. yeah, said that I were. Graham also Graham Graham also appealed for persons who have been diagnosed with the disease to complete the course of treatment. It is not a one week treatment. It takes several months, or oh, it does. So if you know anyone who is on treatment, 
please encourage them to stay the course and complete the course of medication because tuberculosis can be treated because that's the one thing we do in Scotty in general when we, when, when we go doctor and we get medication as soon as we start feeling better I... we tap take it I'm healing I say yes to you? I'm guilty yeah. so. yeah, man, I'm guilty of that I'll take it till it's done mm-hmm. as soon as we get better then I'm my money me spending mm-hmm. brother I value for money me I look at and I take it whole life They're not going to <laughs> Because sometimes these things have a shelf life in a youth. That's true. Never keep a closer eye for you, know, because <laughs> that's so it's safe. TB <laughs> spread through the air from one person to another. It is contracted by breathing in germs, which when an affected person cough, sneeze, or sn- sneezes, or spits. Oh, cool. I think some people just walk around spit, 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 you know. Some of the symptoms of active pulmonary TB are chronic cough persisting for more than two weeks, especially accompanied by blood, fever, weight loss, and night sweats. So World TB Day will be observed on Thursday, March 24, under the theme, Invest to End TB and Save Lives. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. If we have JLP and PNP police, it can't work around here. Police should keep their politics, opinion to themselves. True, we should not have police like Mr. McGregor working with for Mr. Anderson and Andrew. As in Steve McGregor, the Andrew? I mean, I, what is he now? Superintendent? Hmm. Tell me, tell me what I wanted for us, Steve. All right, so more nurses said to leave Jamaica. Wow, I am so surprised. Concern is being raised that the migration of nurses from Jamaica to take up jobs overseas will pick up pace, creating a larger gap in the nurse to patient ratio. So a member of the nurse, well, a member of the Nurses Association of Jamaica's publication committee, Sandra Chisholm Ford, says among those leaving are specialist nurses, including nurse educators and midwives because of the conditions we are expecting, experiencing. According to Ms. Chisholm Ford, more nurses are making arrangements to migrate. The migration we are seeing now is the tip of the iceberg. As I said to you, I have been speaking to a lot of nurses who are actually processing to go. So by June, we are going to see a bigger gap in our nurse-patient ratio. She warned while speaking on Tuesday morning. Yes, yeah, son? No. We're talking about nurses, doctors are leaving too. The Jamaica Medical Association say a number of doctors have also opted to leave Jamaica. Opted. I went to a conference in the European Union about working conditions and our working hours and working conditions match that of Tanzania. The European nations were looking at me with their mouths ajar. When I play the hours that we work and for the length of hours that we are allowed to work consistently and just what we go through on a daily basis, their mouths were wide open, said President of the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association, Mindy Fitzhenley. She also said the government should improve work conditions for healthcare workers if it hopes to retain them. Makes sense. It's a, it's a constant battle of attrition with... Jamaican professionals and overseas mm-hmm. employment opportunities, you know. So, lawyers, well, I, know, well, I don't know about lawyers, guys. I don't know that if you practice in Jamaica, you can practice overseas without upgrading yourself. But doctors, nurses, teachers, many mm-hmm. specialists, especially with the teaching thing, the math teachers, the science teachers, science and now the English teachers, because countries like Japan and those places and China are accepting them in droves to teach English. You understand? So, you know, look good. And as I've said many times, in, in my opinion, um, no good teachers not really make again. You have few, but but a good teachers they stop make and, and most of the ones that are active are now leaving because especially the males, uh, they can't mm-hmm. take care of them family and their responsibilities. You understand? So you use them off eat. You understand? Yep. So, and as I said before, and apparently somebody took offense to it in the comment section, not in the chat, in the comment section, when we said that most schools now are just female around the thing. 
you understand? And somebody has said, like, female, and I never been a question the ability of our females. I know very strong yeah, female really. teachers. Yeah. So one up on the screen. But the truth is that you need, just like you need male figures in the home, you need male figures in the schools. That's it. So we don't even get in our, in our feelings and, and get emotional and, and, and become right. sexist. You need male teachers on the ground. Just like you need fathers in the home. It's a simple thing. More time a major than a minor too much. You understand? I now discredit the, 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 the power of women in the school system. The work of women. I have worked with many, many strong females. You understand? I have worked with females that make man look like female. You yeah, understand? So, don't do that. But the truth is that we need male teachers. Especially all the youths are pre you now and, 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 and the youths have mannerism and behavior. You need some males. Just like you need fathers in the home. And the truth is that very few males are going to teachers' college. The man says, Scotty, a teacher too. Who said that? No. Richie. No, brother. She sell yeah, bread yeah. for national bakery. <laughs> <laughs> what myself? Bread for National Bakery. Teacher, but expensive. So that's why, man. <laughs> I I just like but my must flow expensive when I read that. I flow, I make it. And then sit here. I start coming back with two spices every other week, friend. Yeah, you know, I'm not really fool around bread like that. Right now, that's true. I'm there. But half of one bread did it for about two weeks now. And then I oh, said, the missus really. go to the supermarket yesterday and buy bread. And I ask her, I said, then. You know, she said. Nobody not eat bread here. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoes this. Yes, sir. Job business. You understand? And the shoes are Clark's lace. You know, say Clark's and all if a, 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 a lace hole. He is for job. <laughs> but but, but as I give myself some trouble by you. You understand? Scotty, me need two tin of cheese, please and that. Yeah, we can't we can't fix up that Rosie. That's that simple man. No, no, and I was student from both January, early February in coming. Ask me bun and cheese. Yeah, first I ate pretty much one bun and a piece of cheese. One a year, so child? Me, yeah, some of them say, one of the round bun, they say no mix. You want a long one? One a long one. You know what, probably is a youth, I probably not got a bun and cheese. And he no want it before the first I ate, right? Oh, keep me posted for that, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah can't, can't. No, me have him, me have him black, man. Oh, you have him black. Right. First I ate, bro. Yeah, I see her. Yeah, that's good because probably a youth when you say nah get no bun and cheese. Yeah, huh? like it was strange when he said it. And he like every other week he reminds me of it though. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, I figure say that. Alright. Eh, so alright. So Rosie, um do I have to link him, but Rosie, you know a simple one tree that man. Not not that. You see? And thing. Um so which one would they know? Scotty Richie is new to class. I oh, was just a Richie there before you fall out. Richie had trouble making it. Richie just had trouble. Richie had trouble making it. Please be a fight. Um, license firearm owner says gun was stolen. But then this license firearm owner is not. You run out of the mill license firearm owner in terms of profile. Michael Issa, a businessman and licensed firearm holder, was hauled before I did a video on this. Was I did that video about four o'clock one morning. Yeah, I'm sorry. And thing and, and set it for go live 7 30. Who was hauled before the court to answer to charges of negligent loss of firearm, indecent language, and resisting arrest is to return to court on April 11. When he appeared in the St. James Parish Court on Thursday, Issa pleaded not guilty to all the charges. His defense to the first charge was that his firearm had been stolen. His bail was extended until his next court appearance. Now, Issa, interestingly, is the stepfather of nine-year-old Gabriel King, who was found in his mother's Audi motor vehicle with his throat slashed on January 13. The car, which was found on the Oak Hill Avenue in Fairfield Estates, had been reported stolen only minutes earlier. Now, investigations continue into the death of the young artistic boy. The cases, however, are unrelated based on what the investigators are saying and mm -hmm. these things. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, and everything good for you, good for that. We are watching and see how it proceeds through the court because, as I tell us, I'm not mind the money and everything. And these people, anytime you, 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 you ask some probing question, 
teach them that bread mildew. No, you know, come here, look funny this morning. I mean, I said, so then there's a bread and a fresh bread, see you, man. Yeah, so. Yeah, what do you think, Millie? Van der Seller, brother? He probably soon no good still. I mean, I said, I'm going to learn to bake. I'm going to learn to bake. I'm going to learn to learn to bake. I'm going to learn to The man said, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It would be interesting to note under what circumstances said gun was stolen. I so far, I might be there all along. You know, I hear me now. My voice must sound nice. Ladies, how oh, oh, my voice on? I don't want a man to tell me about my voice. Yeah. Scott, you have my voice on here, yes. Talk it through. No, me, your brother, but then you can't say, answer. If you tell you, you're going to hang up for me. No, I'm not hang up, man. I'm not hang up. I'm not hang up. I'm not hang up. I'm not hang up. Give Scott a dog, make him stop back. I'm not hang up when your dog make up from a bag with you. Is it? It's a song like... Reverend who lost his oh, oh I mean I mean I mean Reverend That's what I was thinking of Reverend oh, what's name again? Glenna what's your name? No man what's up with the last name there's somebody Transporter Mm-hmm in the same name and vehicle I I'm trying to name name again I don't want to call him by the wrong name I don't know God no me not know my name Pastor. Al Miller man Glenna I could have heard Reverend Al Miller Yeah the yeah. Um, something man. Right, 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 right. The wrong name, Mika. Let me tell you, I became have a conversation about school challenge quiz with, with James recently, and we had talked about how are the news are prepared for long story. But yes, I guess I saw him oh, okay. popping on my head. Okay. Um, yes, Rose, they asked a few probing questions. You are defaming people yeah. in this country these days, you know. And yeah, yeah, be careful, like. You understand? Mm. Mm -hmm. And people don't see people. People don't sue people who are nobodies, you know. That's the first thing you need to understand. When people sue people, it's because they feel like there's something they can benefit from. You see? Yes. But they don't want to seek legal advice. When they give you a similar set, Katia, you know, so you're up front. You tell us you're going to seek legal advice. Something now, you're stepping on it. Sexual harassment, man. Teacher? I don't have no lawyer, so we can go outside. You're rough. But I'm going to watch and see this, because I have questions. Naturally, it's an innate concept where you read some things, you become very quizzical. But I mean, I won't be somebody who will get up questions that you want answers. Yes, it's but true. for now, detectives are saying the cases are unrelated. I'll leave it there and see what mm -hmm. happens. Auntie, yeah. No, remember the whole all sort of problem with Montague and Bunting recently with them. Issuing firearm licenses to persons of questionable reputation and 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 people with Ooh, convictions and so. And we are said, well, the report is from 2012 to 2018. Then we don't know what Chang been going on with you know. You understand? He has said, and I'll archive this article. See if I need to revisit it in the future. Come, this is it. I stick to FLA review board gun permit recommendations. So citing a policy shift, the Minister of National Security, Dr. Harry Strang, says he does not review the recommendations of the review board of the FLA in relation to the granting of firearm licenses. You hear that, Scotty? He said that the policy shift was implemented in 2017. Mm -hmm. Chang, who is also chairman of the Joint Select Committee reviewing the, um, the Firearms Prohibition Restrictions and Regulations Act of 2022, which is the new Firearms Act, really, told lawmakers that he has never reviewed the decision of the review board of the FLA. So basically, he must say, mm -hmm. if, a report, if a request come to him, Zane, he has never, ever reviewed a request and such. He has never granted a firearm license to anybody because he never reviewed them. That, that's why I'm saying, and I'm I, I saying, I, I, I put up the article for safekeeping, you know. You know what I'm saying? Alright, I mean, I want to wet up, you know. So, evidence? let me tell me, I want to wet up because sometimes <laughs> he said that since 2017, no, do Scotty. No, do. I mean, I know you carry your dog come to work tonight. 
Move down. No, me not, you know me not want that to want that. We can't really take care of myself. He said that since 2017, the government introduced significant policy changes amid at well not amid aimed at correcting the irregularities and deficiencies uncovered in the special report of the Integrity Commission that was published in Parliament or tabled in Parliament last week. Now, given a reason for the policy change, Chang told committee members that the government found it inappropriate that a policy unit within the Ministry of National Security should be asked to review the work of a high-level panel, as maybe not say from the beginning of time. Why you need the FLA review board then if at the end of the day you where them tell it. us that based on them investigation, you go overturn it? Then no bother with them. Less money for pay, taxpayers' money for pay people. Scotty, who, who let the dogs out? <laughs> Scotty, which dog that? <laughs> my one have been through that one. Auntie. Nah, man. Scotty plays highly secured, man. Nobody can intrude upon that, man. You know what I'm saying? Scotty, while them like a wholeness while them. Hi. Um, what's that with it? He said, yeah, what's that? Um, so the review board is headed by a former president of the Court of Appeal and supported by a former senior deputy director of public prosecution and a retired senior police officer. We find the character of the chairman of this panel to be unimpe uh, unimpeachable and beyond reproach. As a result, the findings and recommendations of of the board are accepted as recommended. Do you know that the word OF is pronounced of and not of? Auntie Fia, big up yes. Yeah, sir. It's Hello, of. It again? of. Of. And not of. Right. Okay. Thank me later. All right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which are we there, you know? And like, you know, evening and morning and all of these things. You yeah, understand? Know, we say evening, like what hell in there. It's evening. You know, it's for father, buddy. Evening. No, no. You send me to school, I don't go for farm food. Yeah, easy. Yes, sir. Yeah, so. All right. So now, I'm sure we're there. So Jerome has said nothing com going to come out of it. I think Jerome is referring to Mr. Issa and his gun case and things. So the security minister rem minister's remarks come against the background of a damning integrity commission report on the FLA's issuance of firearm licenses to persons with criminal intent or criminal traces, I should say. And thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, Chang, Mr. Chang said him never go against a recommendation from the FLA. Can I even bother review them? And that's a nice um position to be in. Brother, it's a perfect position be... to be in. Yeah. You understand? So you cannot be calling in you your, can't call you can't be in. calling this repute or question. You understand? And no. things. So but I hope that what was said was in truth and in fact the facts. May I, may I story article. Keep it the same keeping. Yes, guys. Sometimes some things disappear. are... Uh, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> you and I both know that. We know that. We know that it will go missing. Yeah, man. I have, I have, I have ch tried to find articles before and various I remember. things. And no. it, is, it well, apparently never existed. Yeah. And you realize that the, 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 the article has been cleaned from existence. But that, that's our next story for you next time. I have some story for telling you one day, you know. They're going to write one book. Because they say, if you want to hide things from, 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 from people, you put it in a book. Put you understand? Book. If you don't want to find it, you go buy a book and read it. You understand? <laughs> I have some stories for you, see. We don't even understand. But we don't, we don't say some things, because some things can be said immediately. Mm. And you know, when I run go to video, say, you know, that man, this and this man, they want to do that. They have to wise too. And you know, I think you see, in some cases, I think that's what they want. What? I think they want to, uh, just like I said, so I'm gonna go around and say, um, this a hot more and that a hot you know? So, like when, for example, if if you I are. Listening, you, uh -huh. mm. So, it's that that you know why. Yeah, like they would want to say, I say, oh, the, 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 someone a liar, right? Teach them and, and this someone and that. No, 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 we tell us about we fraternizing on the channel, you know. <laughs> I won't tolerate it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I won't tolerate it. 
stage, be careful. Don't let national <laughs> file a lawsuit at you. Uh, <laughs> it's a free ad. No, 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 no. You understand? But in truth, if 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 the statement made by Dr. Chang is correct, then I appreciate it. You understand what I mean? Eh, Venus say, wow. <laughs> No, uh, proposed the firearm ban for accused domestic abusers triggers debate. So remember that the, 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 the Firearms Act has been tabled in Parliament. You know? So the committee mm -hmm. has been reviewing aspects of it to whether adjust or modify or to strike off or add. Or, you understand? So one of the conversations mm -hmm. that came up, I think another one is that more women will be afforded the, oppor the opportunity to, to acquire firearm. I think not saying more because women have been available. Uh, I've been able to do that. Proposed firearm ban for accused domestic abusers triggers debate. So basically, what, what, what one party has said is that if somebody is charged for domestic abuse, domestic abuse them should then never get never a firearm. Right. But you know, people are going to have opposite views to that too. See? I think one of the discussions that came out this week too is um, encouraging females to seek firearm permits and licenses. You know, normally gun thing tend to be a male thing. You understand? Know yeah, some women will love them, will love them flames, but um, it tend to be a male thing. So I suppose there will be a greater push for some, for more women to become licensed mm -hmm. firearm holders. I guess that can play both ways. A woman will mm -hmm. be able to defend herself in the event that she needs to, but then she could also become a sitting duck because so. Eh, no, yeah, man. But, Boy, but I, I teach. Yes, um, say boy, that topic is tricky with females, but I am not against yeah. it. Which one, yes, the one for ban the, the domestic abusers are the one for f females becoming more armed? Let me know. I so what? Maybe. Yeah, you were saying something, sis. No, I was saying that it's tricky either way. Whether you are male or female, as I think having a license for firearm is not something that you go about bragging about or putting out there. Nobody knows. Because in my... Yeah, in my mind, once you have it, somebody want it. Mm. And it's a conversation that we have had before. Many times. Once Many you have times. it, somebody are gonna want it. Mm. And naturally might come for it. Only time a man for know uh, only time a man for know when I look down in night, man. I want it at death. I, and then look where I'm looking at him now look for no. I get him, I get it, Scotty, then make him kuno, him kuno and look in it with it. He means that a gun examiner. Yeah, son. If you reach him, I'm looking at it then. Yeah, son. You mean it's a problem. It's a, it's an element of surprise. Yeah, son. If, yeah. if 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 it's not an element of surprise anymore, then you're vulnerable. Yeah, son. So yeah. But um, once you have it, it's a target. Yeah. When um, yes, yes. That's that's what I'm saying. Whilst it would be it would be very good for women to have an, an additional level of security, it can also play into the hands of criminals. Yeah, son. So, um, yeah, I didn't script that article, but I probably should for the next stream because it's an interesting point of, of conversation. No, so these are the situations, Scotty, and I have said before that based on information that I have gleaned from different people, that sometimes a man when a man complains, they don't get them gone. It's sometimes a woman, they don't get it. As you are saying. Yeah, son. So, watch you know, lawmakers locked horns in the week over a provision in the firearms act of 2022 that bars a per but but this diocese you know scotty that bars a person charged not convicted you know, charged oh. that bars a person charged because being charged means you're guilty you know being charged mm -hmm. means that there is suspicion that you are involved in something mm -hmm. no being found guilty and convicted is different from being charged. Many people are charged with things and they want to put a court free. You see? Yeah. So, that kind of dice. So, what, 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 what's your style now? So, that bars a person charged with an offense involving domestic violence or has a history of domestic violence from obtaining a firearm license. So, the proposed law also empowers the board of the FLA to revoke a firearm authorization of the order is charged with a domestic violence offense. Now, Fitz Jackson... Member of Parliament for St. Catherine South expressed reservation about the provision that excludes a person charged with a domestic violence offence. He argued that to charge someone is synonymous with an allegation, which suggests that the person might be guilty of the offence. Jackson said the standard for refusal should be a conviction. 
versus a charge. Mm -hmm. You understand? Agree. Oh, you agree? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Mere charge, mere charge, we know me, me well, mere charge, we know many cases go to court and after being charged, it does not go anywhere because it cannot stand up, Jackson said. So he must say a conviction should be the refusal, the reason for refusal and not a charge. You understand? All right. He suggests that it would not be fair to deny someone a firearm license on the basis of an allegation. Now, committee chairman and minister of national security, Dr. Horace Chang, made it clear that he did not intend to dilute the law for men who are charged with a domestic violence offense. Wow. Very firm. He insisted that any report of any individual displaying elements of domestic violence must be refused a license. I do not need a conviction. That's what the minister has in a moment. I do not need a conviction. Once he is reported to have abused, whether his wife, his girlfriend, or his children, and there is reasonable information and a report, then he is denied. You hear what the minister has said? I heard that. Okay. The National Security Minister said that domestic violence in Jamaica remained a very serious problem and a strong message must be sent to the perpetrators. He reasoned that there was no right to bear arms in Jamaica and that he could not allow an alleged domestic abuser to hold a firearm even for a day. Okay. Yes. You want all the comment? Take me down. What? All right. Yeah. No. He reasoned that there was no... Let me say that already. Now, committee member Senator Peter Bunting, of all persons, <laughs> cautioned <laughs> that the legislation was cast too wide and could disqualify many applicants who have been accused of alleged wrongdoing by persons with malicious intents. Bunting told the committee that when he was Minister of National Security, there was a case in which a spouse told an investigator that her partner had a temper and therefore should not be issued a firearm license. Who may tell us the most time prevent the man from get a flames? Them spouse. You understand? But then people mm -hmm. go berate the fire FLA and all sorts of things. And sometimes it's usually a problem. Because you probably slap your partner and she said then this is not safe. You understand? And sometimes the women are, they know your personality, Scotty. And them tall. You understand? They must be far. So them know, say, if when you never have no gun in it so dark, and you also supposing do many things, suppose you get a gun. You understand? No. Bunting told the committee that when... Oh, I said that already. He explained that when the applicant appealed the decision, the spouse later told the panel that she made up the story because she did not feel comfortable with a firearm in the house. Okay. What you are inviting is just arbitrary and capricious decisions at the level of the FLA. The reason we have a review board is that issues like this can be tested. Now, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs Marlene Malahu Fort cautioned that the call to adjust the provision in the bill might be interpreted as a lowering of the standard and a lowering of the bar to just free up the thing so any man who wants a firearm can just get it for getting mm -hmm. the problem that the firearm poses. What say you? All right. The, for me, and this is my opinion again, um alleged allegations as you said that are not necessarily true mm -hmm. so for you to hold it against me because it can be a case where me just know why you forget a gun as you, you just read me just know why you get a gun and me say you, you beat me or you talk me that me i one one time or something whatever the case is it's an allegation then it can be when it's proven not true then i think say forget who against your figure to prevent you from getting a, a license via mm. now if you are charged and convicted of domestic um, violence then no they don't forget it because without it you already have caused such harms what you're going to do with it so you are for conviction but, yes i am for conviction as well not allegations because any i can just get up and say the man I beat me we can't call you and say Brett, you know say my beat me it's not necessarily true. You know, no, it's over. Cause... No, I'm not do that because naturally you don't want to go with me. Time, yes, and exactly. Then... But once you are convicted, then yes. And I believe that if you were convicted before, or sorry, after you got it, it should be. Yeah, removed. man, they're going to revoke it, man. Naturally. Natu naturally. 
All right, mm-hmm. well, it should be. Zine, um, private so figure say, that. well, on private figure say it would be nice if he was that strong on crime, but domestic violence is a crime, though, bro. Yeah, you understand? I'm just saying. You see? Auntie. Um, yeah, but I think that conviction would be the right way because people have malicious intent from time to time. All right. We're you not pure of all the time. What did I? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and I understand the minister being firm on this and very possible, very possible mm. that his desire will be the final outcome, you know. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, that, that is why it is in front of the committee. So I, I don't know if it's a vote thing or what, but based on the tone of the, what was said, it sounds like he's very strident that mm-hmm. a charge him thing there. Mm-hmm. You see? But I think that it is unfair seeing that sometimes women can, and not man too, because the man can do the same thing what the woman do. Sometimes people are just malicious and vindictive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you understand? And based on information, when they do them investigation, when they fail to do them investigation, they interview random people, you know, brother. Some people, you don't even think they're going to link, you know. You understand? So you don't even know. Basic school teacher. <laughs> so, you don't even know, brother. And probably in a basic school, there was a dark little fellow. You understand? <laughs> but you're grown up and mature and, 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 and balanced out. You grew out the dark days, right? Yeah, it's right? rough rasta. And Marlene Malahu Fort is in support of, 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 of the minister as well. The mm-hmm. minister's stance. So, that, that says a lot. But Fitz and Peter, again, it's, it's rough. So my question, I hope people. that the best decision is made for it's the benefit made. of most people. You understand? Mm-hmm. Thing. But as I tell you, I, I am a firm believer that many men who are, whose applications are rejected, is rejected some there's some spousal influence in it and some some small things really trigger them to say all right they're not getting teach them yeah, many times guilty people get off when they're guilty that is true what else that, no? is, that is very true um the joes I, I totally agree with that too you yeah, understand but that. for just charge a man d jones are you saying can't get a gun again it's rough, brother, because sometimes one girl can't tell a lie. I'm going to show you one story about one girl has been, um, she, she will be in prison because she accused, she tell lies and then rape. Hold on, don't move. Okay. So I'm going to link it back to, as a matter of fact, I me, me script it for follow this and about them, I move it. I should make it stay. I mean, a teacher and will be the less you know, and I'm going to be less you know, but eh, that's what I think. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lie to you, but I'm going to examine that. Teen among four charged for Manchester murder. We kind of in a rough part of the stream and a bumpy part. So, I'm going to strap in, strap down on a seatbelt like it's going to be a rough ride. Three teens are among four persons charged for the murder of 50 year old O'Neill Francis of Greenville in Manchester. Charged are 19 year old Miguel Myers, 24 year old Kirkland Antwin, Antwin, Antwine, first message that's her name, the otherwise called Ratty. 18-year-old Rajani Griffiths and 17 year and a 17-year-old boy all of Greenville in Manchester. So the police reported about 9 p.m. on Saturday, March 12th, an argument developed between Antoine and Francis when all four accused attacked him and chased after him. Antoine allegedly inflicted wounds to Francis's abdomen and robbed him of cash. The police say about 7 a.m. on Sunday, March 13, residents discovered the body of Francis in bushes with multiple stab wounds. The police were alerted and upon their arrival, the scene was processed and the body removed to the morgue. All four people were taken into custody and charged with the murder on Friday, March 18, following an investigation. Wow. Teens. Teens. Man, teens. I tell you about teens. Man suspected of shooting cop as another gun case. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, you know. I don't mean to laugh, but I'm going to know why I laugh in a few. Javon Ellie Marshall, the man charged with the February 14 shooting and robbery of a police constable along Municipal Boulevard in Portmore, St. Catherine, was out on bail from charges arising from an alleged shootout with cops in May of 2020. Now I'll read that again. Javon Ellie Marshall, the man charged with the February 14 shooting and robbery of a police constable along Municipal Boulevard in Portmore, St. Catherine, was out on bail from charges arising from an alleged shootout with cops in May of 2020. 
Marissa. How many times we have spoken about the bail act in this country? Too many. Yeah. Mark you, recently we spoke about the fact that Minister Malahuford has brought to Parliament and I think tabled a bill or a bill is to be tabled soon. And I think the bill was tabled about amending the Bail Act. So, I don't know. Marshall, who is 22, who is from a Caribbean yeah, estate what? address in the municipality, is to appear, well, I think he appeared last week, Friday, I think, or Thursday, I don't remember, for the 2020 shooting incident in which it is alleged that he had fired shots at members of the St. Catherine Special Operations Unit on May 20, 2020, along Big Lane in St. Charles Village, St. Catherine. He was arrested almost a year and granted bail within a month. Marshall was given, was again arrested and charged Thursday, March 10, for the latest attack on, on the constable who was shot in his back while driving his motorcycle at approximately 8.50 p.m. just over a month ago. The constable was thrown into bushes by his attackers who stole his service pistol, motorcycle and cellular phone. The following day, the injured cop was discovered by a citizen who alerted the police. Marshall was charged with wounding with intent, robbery with aggravation, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, and conspiracy to commit robbery. Wounding with intent, that should be attempted murder. What do you mean? I mean, why it lies a thing sometimes, why, why I don't even know. How about I mean, I'm a shop? I hear me on my headphone, clearly. So I'm like, I'm dropping the tablet on the ground. Five arrested, illegal gun and money seized in St. Catherine. So the police last night arrested five people and seized over $700,000 in above rocks, St. Catherine. A motor vehicle was also seized. So the police reported that about 8.30 p.m. they received information about suspicious activities involving a motor car with persons aboard. A roadblock was set up along the Above Rocks main road and a Toyota Axio was intercepted. Big up to the police them. Good work. The police say the vehicle and the occupants were searched and they found an illegal gun and a large sum of money. The four male and the female occupants, wow, surprise, who are said to be from the Above Rocks community were taken into custody. Female. You understand? Empress Tash, what are going on? All is well? The police have charged 40... Well, man charged for a gun attack in Trelawney. The police have charged 47-year-old Lambert James over a gun attack on two men in High District, District Clarkstown, Trelawney. So James, otherwise called Blacks of Clarkstown in the parish. What time was we had done stream says? In the parish, is charged with two counts of shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. So the police report that on Sunday, March 6th, an argument developed between two men and James. While leaving, James reportedly pulled a firearm from his waistband and pointed it in the direction of the men and fired several shots. They ran to, Clarks, to the Clarkstone police station where they made a report. So James subsequently turned himself into the police on Friday, March 11, with his attorney. I wonder if he can gone with him. Negative. The accused was placed on an identification parade on Friday. So he just turned in himself. So he knows that the police have never looked for him and the same as a person of interest. I don't know. The accused was placed on an identification parade on Friday, March 18, where he was positively identified by both men. His court date is being finalized. No. <laughs> Our customer reference to the great attorney himself, Peter Champigny, each week comes now. Really? Health inspector on murder rap granted bail. St. <laughs> Catherine resident Milton Williams, William, or really Williams, Williams charged with murder, is to return to court on June 9, 2022. He is to surrender his travel documents to the authorities. Yeah? No allegations. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did my light what you know. Because it is too bright now, she's probably can't do me look more next time. Let me look. Yeah, for it kind of look. That's a look blue, but I already fixed that. Yeah, yeah for nice. Yellow. Me look yellow? <laughs> oh, me for look yellow. <laughs> yeah, fool. No, allegations. Yeah, your computer screen is no good. Allegations yeah. are that. Do listen to this song. Allegations mm -hmm. are that during an argument in Salt River Clarendon on January 29 last year, Williams used his motor vehicle to run over a woman with whom he previously had an intimate relationship. Remember, remember murder ended up on the woman died. You know what you're right. Watch your style. 
Following lengthy ongoing investigations, the director of public prosecution recently ruled that Williams be charged. That took them long enough. In court, Williams' attorney, Peter Champney, QC, in applying for a bail, submitted that the now deceased was a well was that the now deceased was well known in the mm. community as one who suffered from a serious mental problem. On the day, on the day of the incident, the attorney said the now deceased had, for reasons unknown, taken set on his client. He said she used a stone to damage his motor vehicle after she demanded money, but was not given any. Williams, it is claimed, was on a routine inspection of a business premises. It was stated that at one point during the incident, the now deceased had rushed into the accused man's vehicle, refusing to come out. However, after some gentle persuasion by the accused, the woman exited the vehicle. <laughs> Champagne submitted that it was at this point that in a bid to escape, and while driving off his, vehicle, his motor vehicle, it was brought to Williams' attention by onlookers that he had run over her. So he uh, that he had, run, he, he had run her over. <laughs> in, addressing, he then I couldn't tell him this. <laughs> in addressing whether Williams was a flight risk, if granted bail, Champagne pointed out that his client had no more than mm -hmm. one on, had on more than one occasion attended the police station to give a statement about the incident. Well, 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 well. <laughs> So you run over somebody and you don't realize that you run over somebody? Okay. Until somebody tell you. Until somebody tell you. Okay. What a soft person. Must be. After some gentle persuasion, she exited the vehicle. And it was in like, attempt. It was in attempt to escape. <laughs> ja, ja, God. That don't even add up. <laughs> oh, we have a new US ambassador to Jamaica, you know? Oh. Eh? Oh. One brother. Any name Perry. Soon tell about him. I remember so that brother there did an idle thing with Vaz and they been dying it up like and he gone back. Mm -hmm. remember any Tapia, Donald, 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 Donald Tapia. Lawyer mm -hmm. slash liar. Good. <laughs> Jug gun trafficking among priority issues for a new US ambassador. A newly appointed American ambassador to Jamaica, N. Nick Perry, has revealed that the long standing issues of gun running and drug trafficking between the United States and Jamaica will be among his priorities when he takes up an assignment in Kingston. When he takes up assignment in Kingston, Perry, a Jamaican born American, oh, he's a yard man, was official, was well. Perry, a Jamaican-born official, was last week approved by the U.S. Senate to replace Donald Tapia as U.S. Ambassador to Jamaica. He said on Sunday that, uh, well, not this Sunday, last Sunday, <clears throat> that as the top American official in Jamaica, he will work to strengthen the bond between Washington and Kingston. But Perry revealed that gun and narcotics trafficking will also be high on his agenda. Um, I don't know if James Ellis is history. Uh. The trafficking of guns and narcotics not only impact the economic well-being of Jamaica but threatens the lives of Americans and is an issue that I am sure I will be briefed on and must be given high consideration. Now, in recent weeks, there have been two major gun busts in shipments coming from the US. Meanwhile, it could be another five weeks or so before Perry arrives in Jamaica. You understand? He must first resign his seat in the New York Senate Assembly and he wants to ensure that his preferred candidate wins the polls. Okay, uh, politics, but let me forget it now. But I'm going to try to fix something. So, we are watching us. I'm going to turn us in a spoiler dance. Yeah, spoiler dance. Jamaican Hopefully, man. Hopefully, action follows words. Action speak louder than word. You understand? Jamaican man with 40 fake IDs. Ganja and yeah. illegal guns get 24 years in US prison. A man has 48 fake ID. I couldn't tell you enough. I suppose use them, but I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, 16 looks so well. Look softer. All right. Mm. A Jamaican man who was found with over 40 fake identification cards and several pounds of ganja in multiple apartments was on Tuesday sentenced to more than 24 years in a United States prison for marijuana trafficking, firearm possession, and money laundering offenses in Connecticut. 
Andrew Davis, 41 years old, of Hamden, Connecticut, was sentenced by the U.S. District Judge Alvin Thompson in Hartford to 295 months in jail for the offense. Come back. Enough months, I don't know. According to a release from the U.S. Attorney's Office for, for the District of Connecticut on Tuesday, the Jamaican citizen faces immigration proceedings after his prison term. And of course, I'm going to deport him. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell him that. A jury on December 18, 2018, found Davis guilty of one count of conspiracy <coughs> to, sorry, to distribute and to, and to possess with the intent to distribute 100 kilograms or more of marijuana. One count of possession with intent to distribute 50 kilograms or more of marijuana. One count of possession of firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. And one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering. There was no explanation provided by the U.S. Attorney's Office regarding the lengthy delay between his conviction and sentence. No evidence presented during the trial indicated that Homeland Security Investigations, U.S. Postal Inspection Services, and the Connecticut State Police began an investigation in 2013 into individuals who were moving large amounts of marijuana from the southwestern part of the country to Connecticut. Long story short, it's a long article. We can't get into all of that right now. My man have 40 fake ID and he get 24 years. You understand? Jummy a yard man. Man wanted in relation to murder of Chinese couple eludes police during shootout. Some man who is wanted in the killing of a Chinese couple in Southfield, St. Elizabeth on Christmas Eve, eluded a police team during a shootout on Monday evening on Holland Bombo Avenue. Yeah? Eh. Yeah. The police were conducting us. Yes, yeah, not me I wonder too. Let I me mean, come to think about it. Cause no nearby bushes. And this is not where we are thinking. Right. No, man. I want Alan Bambo there, man. And I said, Alan Bambo Avenue, yes. Right. right. The police were conducting a stop and search operation about 8, 8 p.m. Okay. And I, okay. He probably will get to him, man. Yeah. But if I did, I don't see him get to him. He must be very fast. <laughs> When the suspect was spotted driving a great Toyota Pro Box, the man reportedly shot at the cops while fleeing the scene. The police returned the gunfire and chased the man onto the Holland estate property where he escaped. The suspect is one of three men who are accused of the murder of the Chinese couple at their supermarket on December 23rd, 2021. Now, brothers Nigel and Nicholas Walters have been charged in relation to the incident. And thing. Now, I remember covering this case back in the days. You understand? Where a hotel worker was charged for raping a few guests. So former mm -hmm. hotel employee pleads guilty to raping two guests. Demar Scott, the 27-year-old hotel employee who was charged in 2018 with raping two female visitors at gunpoint, pleaded guilty on Tuesday in the St. James Circuit Court. Now, that is why the streams them can't monetize something. I have to talk about it something. I kind of annoying, but I just work. You understand? Um, YouTube, nobody give me no money after I stream them sometimes. But that's how it comes. A, a God's work we had. Scott pleaded guilty to two counts of rape, two counts of grievous sexual assault and illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. He pleaded not guilty to the offense of assault with the intent to rob. Scott is scheduled to be sentenced on May 12th. Well, he pleaded guilty, so we're going to see if Mickey Mouse sentence him and get him out. He was employed to Rio Hotel as an entertainment coordinator two days before the incident. And two days before, you know, right? two days, you know. Two days, you know, what the fuck, you know. You never want to work. And he didn't want to work with the foolishness. Uh, exactly, that's what I was about to say. Now, a prosecutor Continue. reported that he forced his way into the woman's hotel room and held them at gunpoint. While raping one of the women, the gun fell from his hand. The other victim retrieved the weapon and shot Scott in the upper body. He escaped but was later arrested in Clarendon. I remember this story very well. Big up that lady there. Him should then get one in nine million. She missed. Remember the other day when we share a story where a 12 year old girl was abducted and raped? After she and her brother were going home from school and yeah, yeah, yeah. they were after the ride and, and then let out the brother and, and all right. Suspect held in abduction and rape of 12 year old Clarendon girl. So the police in Clarendon are reporting that a man has been taken into custody in relation to the abduction and rape of a 12 year old girl. He was apprehended on Sunday last and is to face an identification parade. Now, well, it would be two Fridays ago, the grade 6 student was reportedly on her way home from school with a, si well, with a sibling when a man offered them a ride. Cha -cha. When they reached their destination, he told the, the, the boy 
to come out of the car and drove off with the girl. The child was reportedly released in a community near her home late on that Friday evening. She was subsequently taken to hospital for treatment. And think, well, I'm, I am happy that somebody has been taken into custody, but I'm not really so happy that he's in custody, if you get to the answer. But yeah, keep it moving. But I was saying, even since we may have to ask the question, um, do men still offer um, car rides to random strangers? And do females still take car rides from random strangers? Yeah, man. Well, it's a child like, in a Scottish, yeah, 12. No, I get that for the child. I understand being a child and, and you offer the red and you know sometimes the whole semantics of the accept right from strangers whatever kind of go over your head but in in general sense as adults yeah, i man, was people not that. of the notion that big man still offer people can ride random woman you see from you a random woman still take offer a random woman still take care right sir in a these day age when you just disappear poof like a, a Smoke. How can you? Well, how could you? <laughs> Free ride. Like right. sir, the moment All right, the, moment that, the moment the car slows down at my foot is like me automatically in a almost panic. Me mm. don't know who you be. Who you have a car ride? Who's going to go, sir? I prefer walk from them till that kingdom come. I know you love to walk in. Yeah, I prefer to walk. I know you don't mind walking. I just never think that it's still a go on, I swear to you. Mm -hmm. But I am glad that I am glad that the, the, the child is alright <laughs> and that somebody was held. Yes, Finar, mm -hmm. seriously. Like, it's go and talk I wonder if it's true, Finar. Me a minute. If if people really, why would you, you really slow down on a half a female's ride in this day age? Not that I'm saying that everyone has ill intent. I'm not saying that, but I don't know the intent that you have. I don't know what intent you have. Okay, Mama, I would never never ever even entertain the thought you stop her off a married thank you however i am walking by choice and no thanks never really take up myself put in your week i don't know you you don't know me because as i was saying to somebody this it can go both ways because it can be say me i set up something for you too you never know. It can be a case where, yes, me a walk and me just want to stop for half of me a ride. Now, come in your vehicle and set up a set up couple purse up a road fee. Do you something? You don't know that either. See, my like, oh, I don't know that the moment I step into your vehicle will be the last moment anybody see me alive. I am like. Finar, don't go because you don't know. You might be male and you might feel like, oh, well, you know, we can protect myself. But you, you never know what they have planned. So whether you're male, female, or in between, it's just not a safe practice. And people say we're paranoid. Um, one man actually cost me out because he stopped my offer me a red and said, no, I'm okay. I am walking by choice. Could could cost me out. You know, go and like you know, more than and whatever. But I could not care less, sir. I am going to continue walking because that was my plan and that is what I'm doing. It cannot be in this day and age when people just disappear so regular. People just disappear. Whether you're a child or you're a young adult or a teen or you're up in it, people just disappear. People just disappear. Poof. In thin air, people disappear. I would think that you would want to try and protect yourself at all costs. Just set up yourself to be in a certain situation. Like, in my mind, I can just imagine 
my sister or or my brother get the call say them can't find me and in, um, in all honesty i think you getting into a car with a random stranger is careless in this near age no no matter how far you are go walk one sir walk one no it's careless you cannot take up your good good self and get into a stranger's car when you reach your destination and ask them to let you out you might not be let out and that might very well be the last time you are seen alive you cannot be careless can I walk and look like you want to give away your three pints up for no reason you have to go cost me and me not care let me go and let me go and walk me fat me need to lose weight <laughs> Sure, not say so. like it was so disturbing to me. Very honest, yes, sir. So, hold on, what I'm doing when we reach, I'm in stop now, sir. I'm going to say, I hear some of your cover for your speed up. <laughs> then I'll cut up now. Uh, yes, well, I hope that the yes, women sir. are listening to you, my sister. Let me walk mm. on, sir. May I have a fear? Let me walk on. I'll reach eventually. I mean, Ladies, we get let, let us be yeah, let us be smart in this day and age. Mm-hmm. And nobody make a pretty care trip with. That's one of the things too, bro. Yeah, man, make a pretty we still have we still have women out here who shall in a pretty care yeah. eyes, like. Yeah, man, I'm making pretty care trip, man. Making go on with him pretty care. Yeah, one one of these days the Lord don't care. Man, in a them yellow thoughts. So them change man like away. auto parts. No vehicle, no romance. Go Taxi away. man, them still have better chance. <laughs> But we no don't man. drive at a Yota Carola, but we don't ever get a girl who wants a high roller. Rosie, was this a shaggy pick up, Richie? Rosie, careful. Never ever thinking of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now, but seriously, David, please, I am begging you. Yes, if it works out good, it can be a me cute story. Or, or you met your boyfriend or you met your husband, but child, you imagine if you know work out good. It can be a headline, missing, last seen. Could be a meat ugly story. Yeah, <laughs> I'm bother with that. Exchange numbers, no problem. Exchange numbers and get to know each other. But mm. I'm bother take no right. Yo, your man name for go it together. I don't know if people are picking it. All right, sir, since week one of my student came to, she, she said, Miss. I was, let me just say this last night, Miss Tressel, what happened to you? She said she left school, right? And she was heading home. But she said, stop a KFC to get something to eat. One little one, she hasn't been well lately, but she just started coming back to school. Um, so she said, Miss, when I was going inside KFC, she saw a man and did a car to her and did not want her. But she said, yeah, she ignored him and she got in a KFC. She said she have an in-law that works in KFC. She per- made her purchase and she was leaving out but she said miss the car was still there the car was still there and the man still a look out so she said she moved towards the door she noticed that now when he realized that she's coming through the door in come out of the car and all of a sudden her brush off clothes so she said she kind of feel a little very observant child yes i was so proud of her yeah man that's very observant turn back and she said to the inner, you know, from me come in, he might watch me. I would look around me, I try to leave me, realize him come out of here and I walk towards the door. So the inner officer supervisor to accompany the chair. her. Yes. So she said, Miss, what the what the supervisor did was to walk behind her. And she came out on her own. So when she came out now, he started walking to her and I called her. My manager, she in her uniform. Your mom in plans, man. And she has been sick, so she look really small. Oh. Right? So she look you can't Very you, assume, young. You, you know say that's not an adult. You know say that's a little picnic. But she not a uniform, so, she's not an adult, brother. Correct. So she said no, she walk ahead and him start walk down Panar. So the supervisor walk up to him and say, You know? Mm. Leave her alone. leave the picnic alone. She say a little picnic, so where you follow her up. You know, make your supervisor know say. Where am I watching girl for? Like, you know? 
Ja, oh, alltså den yeah. är... <laughs> We are watch her. Okej. Okay. <laughs> so, like, one little argument, you know? Mm. And I said, who oh, man, girl, if you pick me and we can look up for your passport. And she said, Miss, while they were there, she hurry up and go where she had gone before him, see where she turned. And she was, so she was afraid, even when she come to school, she said, Miss, when school over, she had to ask me to call something there to come for her, so that she not have to go out on the main road. That's how it traumatized her, and I'm like, why won't these men leave these children alone? Allow them to grow, allow them to prosper, hey, allow them to flourish. Her and her brother, you understand? Yeah, yeah, um, alone. yeah, wanna, yeah Finna, you know, we covered that story last stream where the, the, the taxi driver and the passengers gave chase when, when the child was kidnapped and things. Yeah. Mm. Yes, you're rough, but um, as I said, I hope the ladies were listening and thing. And I know yeah, you man. will talk to your girls and stuff, so you know what thing go. Yeah, try Listen to me. You yeah, walk to the tomorrow. If if you are meant to be in a car, the Lord will make a way. Or work hard for it. I met them look man bus stop a pretty car. I would not even for him. But that's right here. Go on, sir. Yeah, go on. Barrett. But I rent the lease in Barrett or yours. Go I on. couldn't care less. One and you can't cuss me all at once, and I go on like, Guess what? I still don't care. Well, I remember I was good, good topic just now, good discussion. Um, big up yourself, yeah. Can I stream by yourself? You can stream by yourself, you know. You whatever, just lay down in bed and listen, you know, and be proud. <laughs> I remember I was talking about when we were talking about women probably jeopardizing a man's opportunity of getting a license for him because mm -hmm. lies are told because there's malicious, malicious mm -hmm. intent woman gets two years probation for making up story that she was raped <laughs> a woman who was charged with creating public mischief after the police said she falsely claimed that she was raped last year was given two years probation in the saint Anne parish court last friday the woman's identity is being withheld due to the nature of the case she had pleaded guilty to the charges prior to her sentencing before parish court judge um, Michelle Salmon. Now, initial report of the rape of the woman sparked concern and fear among many Jamaicans after details circulated on social media in January of 2021. Yeah, and the a bell. The woman was also reported missing and found days later. Oh, so like the a bell. And found days later, the social media report said at the time. But after the police conducted a probe, it was determined that the woman had concocted her rape story. According to court documents, the woman reportedly stated that she was stressed at the time she opted to disappear. She is to be assisted with counseling by the pro probation department over the next two years as part of her sentence. Now, at a February 2021 20, meeting of the St. Anne Municipal Corporation, head of the St. Anne Police, Superintendent Dwight Powell, warned the persons against making false claims. I am going to say to the public that whenever they are making reports to the police, they must be certain of where they are going. Because when the reports are investigated and they are not proven, there are other resources that are left for law enforcement, Powell said. Now, what a wicked act. Um, two years probation. Um, what do you think about that? Because they probably much up a man's life, you know, brother? Right. Reputation, you know, brother? You know, reputation right. is a thing from the state, you know, it's state, you know, brother? I hate that. Like I a get up and curse it in a white shirt to get in. You know? I that for sure. That judge was very lenient. I I sus I suggest. Uh Jaja. That's well Venus. Eh, that's half for true, brother, cause as me say, some of the reputation may be irreparably damaged from. You understand? You telling a lie. For her. I, but I but, but DJ, I think, as I said at the end of may get that, but probably she coming, her name being released to the public now, maybe may, may expose the, 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 the accused who was not involved even greater. You understand? So while I look on it that way, the, her name being mentioned now, people, oh, uh, so this is the man, oh, a mm. James, a James Miller. And James Miller name get further dragging on the thing. So probably it is in the best interest that it remain as is if you get what me answer but me understand where you come from to bro me get that totally but there may be another negative round of 
press for the unfortunate accused in this situation. But the man can sue that lady for defamation of character. 100%. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't sound like uh, somebody, if you sue, you do it even with innocent. Suing is one thing enough in her. Yeah, but if. But then, the... if you have to sue somebody with the resources for grant the suit, you understand? It ain't really menace. That's what I always that's what I said earlier that people don't people no sue you if you're not nobody, you know. Anytime people really start so anytime people think them can't sue you, it means they have make some progress in their life. Well, a Jamaica, anyways, that man can get some millions from that lady. Yeah, but then what you from the Navy? Ali, very serious, bro. Very serious. Very serious. And you can, yeah. as I say, you can destroy people's reputation irreparably. You can't fix back. Because in a Jamaica, people run with the first tour within a year. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. don't matter if it's true or it's false. And if it's uh -huh. wrong, no matter how you try to correct them, they must stick to Never hear a correct first. one. Yeah, Never man, hear a correct thing story. Mm -hmm. And thing. Teen arrested following gun seizure in Portmore. 17 year old boy. And you, forget, you don't know what it's a long talk. You don't lock him up. He was 17. And thing. Um, I did this video yesterday. A victim, well, the, the incident happened on Saturday, I think. Or Saturday, um, so Friday night. I think I did the video Saturday. I better remember what we do. Where there was a shooting in Hanover where three people were killed and about four other people injured. It Police are suggesting that it may be extortion link. The men were installing CCTV footage. Do you know that the CCTV thing is becoming a serious thing for the police? Because yeah, some man just don't want a CCTV put up now, any brother. Yes, yeah, informal setting. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I guys see my CCTV camera them for my house and, and come to me with them foolishness. You see, you understand? Because they're not who you man. But people are losing their lives over this thing. Remember the, the, the gentleman in, in, in Brayton, Portmore, where they told him, to, the technician, they told him to take it down and it wasn't removed and he was murdered. Yep. So, but I don't know if the installation of the CCTV footage was the actual reason or it's just the extortion thing. You understand what I say? But, um, yeah. But an act of terrorism, them still, as, as, as Finnair rightly said, brother, an act against the state that fam. I don't you know. So, you yeah, try to secure your property where you work hard to acquire. See? Yep. And man, I tell you, say you can't secure your property. Okay. Yes. Yes. Board gun thugs terrorize, terrorize motorists. <laughs> Why did I tell you that? The same time the South Police have confirmed that thugs, some of whom seem to be using pieces of board shaped like guns, held up and robbed several call centre workers along Spanish Town Road as they travelled home on a staff bus. The latest in a string of similar incidents in the division. I want to say that a group of men, some boys, some of them seem to have board guns, with one or two with actual guns, held up a bus along Spanish Town Road, the superintendent, Damien Mandison, the acting and of the St. Andrews Road Police Division said. Now it is something that we have been grappling with, and I noticed for the seven months that I have been here in the division, we have had several close occasions with them. We have done several maneuver ta tactics to intercept these fellows, who seemingly attempt these activities, which would have spanned, which would have spanned from Maxfield Avenue, Walton Park Road, and now this latest activity on Spanish Town Road. So the police said that the latest incident took place about 5 a.m. close to the examination depot on Spanish Town Road in Kingston. An alleged recording of the ordeal has since gone viral. You know, that was in the space. So in the recording, a woman is heard describing how the thugs, armed with high powered rifles, ambushed the staff bus and assaulted the driver before escaping with valuables including cash and gadgets. According to Manderson, the criminals were able to ambush the bus after it had slowed down to safely maneuver a breakaway of a pavement along the road. The bad road condition forced the bus to stop or slow down to a point where they could have been hijacked, so to speak. Auntie, the board gonna drop business youth. I you to leave the gun alone, brother. Good advice at the end of the I'm going to put this right there, so, so if they can read and see it. Where, where, where you coming there? Why are you coming there now? Flash up, professor. <coughs> oh, the end of the day, you coming to the long door. I'm going to fix it. Eh. 
Yeah, man. See it there? Board gun a joke. All gun a joke business. Leave the guns alone, brother. Yeah, that's for that for me. Yeah, set that away. Tell you. Mm. Double murder and green pond, St. James. I don't read the article there. I don't read this. I just, just to show your vibes. Four shot, yeah. one dead in Clarendon attack. Man gunned down in Portland. Security guard fatally stabbed while on duty in Ocherius. Father shot dead. Daughter and another man injured in Chilani by a robbery. Man killed in Newport District, Manchester. Seven persons shot in two incidents in Kingston. Man murdered at his gate in Rose Garden. Yeah, you like that? Yep. Yep. I me can't but I got you all of them one by one. You know. But I show you people that want to go and go to the place. It's a lot. You understand? Yeah. Plus, when I, as I say, when I take my stream behind 9 o'clock, because work mm -hmm. in the 8 a.m. You understand? We start from 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Bumba, that's one half hour. I go and I sis. Very violent society, Empress Cookie. Ve Boy, a man, them just a killer for killer these, day, these days. Like, like, it doesn't make no sense. Imagine just a mix on the piece, Scotty, because there can't be no other rational behind it, brother. Why don't you tell you? Why internet is stable tonight? It's not like, you really look pretty, though. I pay the bill. I pay the bill. Yes. <laughs> Since morning, because apparently you did shake it last night. You pay the bill. Yes, me. You see, I like the blue strip above your head, but me fix that when I come back to the side. I'm not there here. You don't have to do that for me to fix it. I don't, don't need you to be there to fix it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, on a stream one, on a stream 348, this brother. You couldn't tell me to fix that. Oh, 349. Right. Yeah. All right. So listen to this now. Yeah. How, how much years ago I last school for? Three and two, five. Three and two, five. I'm here. Yeah, I think that's five. Yeah, my mother five. Dexter Mitchell was a person killed in Manchester in, in Newport, Empress Grey. So the police in Manchester are probing the shooting death of a man in Newport District on Thursday night. He is Dexter Mitchell, who is from the area. It is reported that sometime about 9 p.m., residents reported hearing explosions. Mitchell, who is believed to be in his 40s, was later discovered suffering from gunshot wounds. Ten years next, how much has I got it? But it lose track. I didn't lose focus. How much years I say I spent at last school? Five. Five? No, five years. Then me yeah, no three feet degree and two the, um law school. Okay. To get caught to the bar, I think. So Nick said okay. ten. Teach them. So I don't need to come fix Scotty's internet. <laughs> I well, fix me, internet. me, I got me, I got make sure I say it'll work for my <laughs> stream. Then me don't know if you want <laughs> well, <laughs> fix your side. Me, internet. me, I say any telephone last week. Say I can't fix anything. Oh, it take too long. Somebody can fix it. Tjem, I'm here on night shift. Eh, hey, him and his mother. Him, him kind of did have a cold and so like his mother either a medicate him or something. You know, really do all the medication thing. Yeah, sir. So I'm <laughs> good as a war. See me. Right, so you spend how much years, how much million dollars you got last school, right? Mm -hmm. And no money. And then you dash it away for a one pay day. Then that can't make no sense in my, in my view. I don't mean, understand that. See? So, Court of Appeal opposed disbarment of attorney Minute Parma Lawrence. So the, court, so, the Court of Appeal agreed with the General Legal Counsel that attorney at law Minute Palmer Lawrence should be struck from mm -hmm. the role of lawyers eligible to practice in Jamaica. Now, Palmer, 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 Palmer Lawrence disbar was disbarred in 2018 by the Disciplinary Committee of the GLC following a complaint made against her by a businessman. Um, well, one businessman. I don't even call the businessman name about this, but in an article, see, but you know what I mean? She was found guilty of professional misconduct. The committee found that Palmer Lawrence acted dishonest, act so they should be dishonestly, but the person of dishonesty. <laughs> we tell about the, the, the articles them these days, and acted dishonestly. You see, hold on. You see the article in our paper say one called on a Kevin Smith church. Listen, listen, no, me, no, listen, no, no, listen, hold on, listen. no, no. I may I bring it up for this particular reason. Calm yourself. Can you not even know what I bring up the article? 
me, I think you're stressed. You understand? You must, I didn't read it, you know? Yeah, what's that thing say? Me breed the cow. Watch ya. I breed it. Y'all gonna like me. How is it that a national newspaper find it fit? And I shouldn't break that, 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 uh, that story after this, you know? What make me, 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 me concern? And not a reputable newspaper, the Jamaica Observer, find it fit for write one full length article. So one I'm cow, my cherry, the cow name. Marie to this mm. So So my cherry a breed. One cow, where Kevin Smith, the pan Kevin. How the hell that is a national that news worthy? News. Eh? Oh, that became news. What? Father Kevin Smith, yeah, is, uh, the cow is a reincarnation of. What? I don't nah, get it. What? A Kevin it's Smith, I'd be for I cow, I, I care for. I don't nah, nah, nah understand. See, come me, me, me have a tweet and tag Adam, Adam, I mean, I say, Adam, then it's what a national one? newspaper, what this story is a blog. I, 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 must, I must be a blog, this, this can't real. Me rant it, brother. When me, Scott, me say, when, when me see it, brother, when me see it, me, I say, me have to check if I know it's, if I, that's the first thing me check. If I really start, me I read or I observe. That's the first thing me check. And then me see Jamaica observer. Teacher, me not even but me tell it, me tell it, me tell it. me see it. They're like, what? I tell you what the proper face the media houses them. They feel that they have to be competing with vloggers. And as such, they are now publishing stories that they feel they can compete in the space with. And that is leading to a denigration and deterioration and degradation of journalism as we know it in this country. Because everybody around them views and likes family. When right now, me and the observer, we are we are vloggers, brother. And you and then I, I have never considered myself like me. I don't appreciate the word vlogger anyway. I never have. I am a content creator. I'm a create content. You understand? Me not sit down and sus and gossip and speculate, but I create content. So when people say me is a vlogger, then me get uneasy. But <laughs> I find it offensive as a matter of fact. I am a content creator. I create content. Yeah, son. Know the difference. Yeah, man. So, brother, Scott, Scott, me couldn't believe. I mean, I tell you, God Almighty, truth. Sir, I brother, was watch it. You say if it was a gleaner, me then not so shock. Cause the gleaner have a tendency. Again. Yeah, but them have a tendency to to do some things where no surprise you no more. You yeah, understand? Me say, me say, me could, me couldn't believe. But that's why I was trying to do the vlogger thing like, there. From, from like, early on, we established that. Mm. Where that come from? We can do there, so what's it? What's, yeah. what's the purpose of this now? Unless an entertainment segment would there, we'll never know. Brother, I tell you, I tell you, say, it's just that they're competing in a space where they think they have to, to reduce their level but to be relevant. Shouldn't. But that is what they are doing. They shouldn't. I'm telling you this a long time, you know. Because I tell you, I see some things where people don't pay attention to sometimes. You, know? you understand? Just you just observe and you look and you say, oh, cool, 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 cool. They say, they say cow, the cow and the cow and the father, Kevin Smith, cow are breed. Like me could yo, <laughs> brother, I tell you, let's move on. But watch it. They're a liar lady, you know. See? Mm -hmm. So the committee found that Palmer Lawrence acted dishonestly. And was involved in a dishonest scheme to persuade the complainant to part with her with his funds in what turned out to be a fictitious investment. She was ordered to pay US four hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars with interest at two percent from September twenty fifth, twenty eighteen. She was also ordered to pay seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in legal costs to Nortova. Uh, I still call it it's my name, eh? Now, Palmer Lawrence appealed the ruling and the court granted her a stay of execution pending the outcome of the matter. She had asked the court to set aside the committee's decision because she was innocent. The committee had found that her actions were deceitful and deliberate. The businessman had complained in 2013 to the JLC that the attorney had persuaded him to make an investment in a scheme and he gave her US $400,000 in 2018. Well, the committee found that Palmer, Palmer Lawrence was involved in a dishonest scheme to per... We said that already. Eh. The court of appeal in handing down its decision ruled that she should instead pay US $407,000 with interest at two years. Something wrong with this. So justices have prevailed, well, justices have prevailed and I am grateful to the GLC and the court said the businessman who was represented by attorney at law, Joseph Jarrett. 
and things. So that a one more lawyer striker. Many many lawyers have been struck from the bar in recent times. Now watch 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 this. Another attorney facing disbarment. This is different from the one I look at now. After failing to disclose U.S. shoplifting convictions, <laughs> the fate of an attorney at law did not who did not disclose to the general legal counsel that he had convictions arising from two shoplifting incidents in the United States is to be decided by the Jamaican Supreme Court. The GLC, the government body that regulates the legal profession locally, filed a claim on February 18 asking the court to grant an order striking Jeremy Anderson from the role of attorneys eligible to practice in the courts in Jamaica. The council is also asking the court to declare that the certificates of qualification for enrollment and the qualifying certificate issued to Anderson in October of 2016 were obtained by fraud and accordingly be declared null and void. Only if I buy a man buy him thing, you don't know. It has stated that the certificates were exhibited and relied upon this relied upon to support Anderson's application for his enrollment, which was granted by the Supreme Court on December 7, 2016. Anderson, according to court documents, pleaded guilty to two counts of disorderly conduct arising from two separate incidents of shoplifting when he appeared before the criminal court of the city of New York on July 30, 2013. He was imprisoned for one day for one of the charges, while on the other, he was given a conditional discharge for one year and was required to complete two days of community service. Now, Anderson's situation has sparked concerns from some members of the legal fraternity who advise that honesty on the part of lawyers and those wishing, wishing to enter the profession must be maintained at all times. The GLC, the GLC said Anderson's arrest and criminal convictions were discovered when it received a letter dated November 5, 2021 from Carol Aina, principal of the Norman Manley Law School. Upon receipt of the letter, the GLC said it made inquiries of Anderson, who admitted that he, so there, there are some issues with this article again, who admitted that he had been charged, no, he not in it, but Mr. Reed would eat, who admitted mm -hmm. that he had been charged and that the cases again arose from incidents during which he had shoplifted goods from a store on two separate occasions. It was a precondition of Anderson's application for enrollment as an attorney at law that he gave a voluntary declaration that he was a good was a was of good character, had attained the age of twenty one, and was not an alien and had no and had no criminal record. And things a long story short, him him there case got the article long so, but this is what I'm saying. Um, you are given a form for declaration. So you know, better mm -hmm. you declare early up and then you try to put your case in front of the GLC as to, you know, you were, young, you were young, you understand, mm -hmm. you would have Full exuberance. shoplifting. I mean, it's a crime, but compared to other yeah. crimes, it, you understand? Please, please, you would have gone to law school, well, I'm assuming because his, his, his documentation, his Accreditation and cert and qualifications are, are being called into question now as probably been mm -hmm. been been you understand? But say you go to law school. You are young and you do some local shoplifting business. See? You pay your penance. You have turned your life around and you went to law school and you pursued law. You graduated, you acquired the qualifications, and you are asked now to declare X. Declare the thing. In a make sense, you try to go around the thing because you know so it's going catch up on you. It's going to come back and bite you. You understand? So treat with it up front. Declare your situation and try now plea your cause, your case. Instead of trying to go around the thing and now you lose everything. That has, that has spent so much money though. That's spending so much money to, to acquire this dream. It's like, it just got down the dream. Mm. Because once you are striked from it, you can't practice. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Two more stories I may have cut. Watch out. I, I have done videos in the past where men have been videoed dancing from doorsteps and bus or doors and buses. And I have mm -hmm. stated publicly that this practice is ill-advised it's dangerous. And man running at the comment, yo, load the man, them, the man, them just have fun, the man just have a vibes. 
<laughs> and I have always pointed out to these persons that these situations can then differently, then we'd be having a different conversation. Huh. Man dies after falling from bus and run over on Highway 2000. Accident reconstruction experts um, who were at the scene when the article was published, Zane, mm -hmm. I try to fix up things. So the side man on a bus heading to Old Arbor was killed after falling from the okay. vehicle. Eyewitnesses say the rear wheel of the bus ran over him. Another bus, which was traveling behind, also ran over him. So in drop from one bus, the bus, the back wheel, run over him. And one next bus back at the bus, they run over him. Run over him. The man was reportedly dancing and swinging on the door of the bus when the mishap happened. But now, if he was videoed, and nothing happened to him, that video then go viral as they normally do on people. Oh, your man, him's toppy. He's skin. And when you talk about it and say, the load of people, then they have fun and st Well, who can hear shall feel, you know? Yeah, sir. Then you want to dance with the music and play what they was to that. We don't know people just get to dance with the music and the head, like. Yeah, sir. <laughs> so, you know what you go? Scotty looks sleepy. She could have tired. Yeah, sir. Who's sleepy? But me, I said, I'm going to go. So there was a situation where a police con a police woman who reportedly went into nearby bushes to relieve herself. I saw that. Gun. I do that. I'm going to be filmed. I'm going to be filmed. I saw that article. She got beefy and a good job. <laughs> so you would realize they're going to drop, Mama? <laughs> Maybe, but you could have. Uh, it's dark. Was it? No, that's what I said. Saint Anne resident I'm returns saying. cops lost loaded gun. <laughs> the hierarchy of the Saint Anne Police Division has heaped praise on a resident who found and returned the last the last firearm of a woman constable attached to the highway patrol unit. The constable lost the Glock pistol with seventeen rounds in bushes. Along the land of land of Remain Road in Saint Anne, late Saturday afternoon, afternoon miss, afternoon, when she reportedly went to relieve herself, on discovering that the gun had disappeared, the cop and her colleagues unsuccessfully searched the area and later reported the matter to her superiors. <laughs> she must have wanted to pass bricks. <laughs> She got pee and when she done pee and come back, no gun. Where's oh, when did she recognize that the gun was missing? I don't know, miss. I don't know. Where is Palma Lawrence from? I don't know, you know. Honestly, I don't know. But, sis, I don't know tell you when. Obviously, it's after she lost it. <laughs> so, probably she stopped relieving yeah. herself and drive gone. Mm-hmm. So, you watch you know. So on discovering that the gun, oh, she reported to her superior. So, Superintendent Dwight Powell, the head of the St. Anne Police, said the resident who found the weapon took it to a justice of the peace and it was handed over to the police on Sunday. Good I am eternally well, grateful. You're clapping something. Eh? You're clapping something? Oh. You're clapping something. Eh? Oh. Okay. You said the resident, they forget a clap. Uh, I am eternally grateful and I am proud to have these kinds of people working with in St. Anne. In the meantime, the woman constable is now the subject of an internal investigation. Because, you know, people are going to say, yeah, I yeah, wonder if she leave if it's money. So, I hold it. I think so. Coming but, you know, don't they so? The police federation now has come out swinging. Mm. Okay. Police fe Yeah, so hold on, Mr. Let me now tell you. <laughs> Police Federation blasts the media and cops over a report on police woman who lost gun in bushes. Some senior members of the Jamaica Police Federation are outraged over the media reports of a female constable who reportedly lost her gun while relieving herself in bushes last weekend. The anger is also directed at cops who allegedly circulated photographs of the female constable on social media, site Facebook. No, that never necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sir. 
It would seem to me that some members of the JC have only known how to belittle their own colleagues, said an internal memo from a female executive member of the Police Federation. She openly expressed her shame and disgust with the reporting of the incident in the media. The nasty headlines, in my opinion, is nothing short of distasteful journalism. The officer quipped. Report emerged that the constable who is assigned to the St. Anne's Bay High Patrol lost the Glock service pistol, blah, blah, blah. We get it. Blah, 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 blah. However, the weapon was there. We know all of that. I condemn um, the repercussions as well, as we could have been temperate and support the member knowing that she will face this plenary action. But we don't know the circumstances. We, we hear so that, that, but the truth is that the media does what the media does. The media reports on cases and, and stories. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know the media never accused the, the, the cop of anything. See? Mm. And thing. The officer went on to lament that every member of the force has to seek medical attention in holding up their urine. And that is a fact. Yeah? What happened with the firearm was unfortunate, but it was a result of responding to nature. We don't say nothing. What? Although the firearm was returned, the Federation member said the affected policewoman has been reportedly left embarrassed and traumatized by the incident especially in the light of her life being affected by I, I don't think that her photograph there was a need for it to be in circulation no yeah, yeah i agree with that one i i don't think i don't think we're in jamaica you mean the incident the center man land over main road where right? only for accident going along the stretch to from time to time but they should not have circulated just like home i was <laughs> peeved but remember the first lady where them they said mm -hmm. bring covid come here I was mm -hmm. pissed when they were circulating the woman's picture. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Like, why? No, we can't argue with the picture for size. Brother, but other culture that we have still is rough. That's because why. Because Mrs. Sir, they said she went to relieve herself on the gun. She lost the gun. Yeah. We are thankful that the gun was found. Eternally. And taken, yes, and taken back to the the, the rightful owners <laughs> of said gun. <laughs> it could have gone another way. Many different directions, miss. But I, just, I find it very interesting, though. But me, why, I mean, you know? If my phone can not feel, if my... Because, sir, you're going gonna to pay for me? It is not. That you don't know, say... As far as I know, I've gone so. You're not happy for you? Mm. I know. Yeah. Naturally, questions will be asked. You know, but all when, all, all, all's well that ends well. That ends well, yes. Yes. Correct. We are grateful. Yes. That it wasn't another outcome. Big up to that city there. Yeah. Uh, good people still there, both. Good people still there, both. You understand? Peeps. Big up on yourself, you know. You understand? I call tonight. There are some more stories we didn't talk about, but we call it tonight. We're going to start with that. 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 We're going to start with look out for when you want that. <laughs> Part 2, Part two. Tuesday. You understand? For the I people that must say, you teach, stop singing. What are you saying? I thought it was coming over the weekend. Well, today, 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I decided mm -hmm. I couldn't bother. I mean, I have done okay. edit that part there. It's for the people, eh? We ask you to teach. Stop singing in an interview. Marcy Griffiths is done telling you. I shall sing mm -hmm. as long as I live. And that me, I tell you, no, 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 stay there. Yeah, that's a big tune for sing. We're not going to 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 sing. Tune for sing. You see? And thing and thing. They must sing. And we can't stop you from singing. If there was a way I could do You have to have a mute my mic and your internet shaky. You're freezing. You understand? But when I say I look at you before I left board or something, Scott, your internet gone. Yeah, yeah, good, because you just had to, to make nice. You understand? What's well, Scott there? She freeze. She's frozen. Eh, but you're hearing I, me? I, yeah, me I hear you. So some people love when I sing, some people don't love when I sing. You understand? Me I work with the people who love when I sing. That me I work with. Yeah, and that me pick. You see? But you have to remember, say, my, my, my style of interviewing is just a different vibe. The artists, them comfort everybody at all of them. But and I don't even think people, I probably have, have accepted this interview notion. But I don't interview neither, brother. I reason with some great ones who contribute to the music. I reason with a reason. You understand? So when you have a back, I have one. Take, 
I have one swing. Technically, me so you have to put brush your face when I make that stream. That is unprofessional. That is uncouth. Oh, you think you did gone? I thought I went. Yeah, oh, you thought you went. Okay. okay. You yes. You went. Yes. And things. So, I don't have seen anything on my side in it. I just said, I guess people will, will hold it to that standard probably because of the work that you do. And say, but as a, as a reason, it's a natural vibration. You understand? That's why the man them come for them. That's why when teach them interview your artists, you will hear things we don't hear nowhere else. You understand? Yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact, some of the artists get so comfortable that some things are said that after the interview, you know, conversation is that, that cannot be published many times. That is how comfortable the man them is. Because they trust the teacher. You understand? They know that the teacher now will splice and dice them things to get no, 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 no views <laughs> and likes. You understand? They know that the teacher now will sensationalize them things and have no sound vibe. I am a master of power. I shall sing as long as I live. If I know the song, I go and sing it. You understand? Mm -hmm. And there's only thing there. Zane and thing. Then I'm going to improve my singing. Then I have to sing with bad artists and sing. You see? Yeah, so I just saw a thing of peeps. Um, it's just a natural vibration and reach. That's why I don't do virtual interviews. I don't think that is mm -hmm. that, that energy that just that energy that can't yeah. ride for me. Yeah. You understand? It doesn't capture and, what you want. And whilst I can control my visual and audio, you hear me audio nice? You understand? Yeah. You hear me audio nice? Me can control that. You see, my lighting nice, and my camera, me, I can mm -hmm. control that. I can control Scotty thing because I'm going to go set it up. I can go to the artist here, go set up camera and sit and bring him in. I must have me do this thing for the last for generations, you know. I don't do an interview with a man on his phone and I use one local headphone and the audio cracky cracky and he like Scotty internet and them. No, 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 no. no. Stop calling up my name. You yeah, understand? So when I'm tell us I'm gonna do my thing different and I'm gonna get carried away. I'm gonna look never last my way. You yeah, understand? Yeah, when I reach at the crossroad, we are telling her, I sing we are sing. Sing so. <laughs> like we anyone that level. <laughs> I think so. I approach my thing differently. You know, people as a teacher, you know bring you know do that ver no. No. No ver no. I know that I will miss some opportunities. I am willing to live with that. You have to just pick a principle and values and work with that. You know, dilute stick or water it. down your thing and stick to it. You understand? And I mean, remember when we just started, you know, people are saying, yo, the question, are the same question, let me ask the money, the money thing. Look, look at us now. Looking in, <laughs> looking out, looking even better. Like su <laughs> super supreme. You remember that? I saw TVJ the name one time. You know? No, no, I see, no, see I'm not looking in, looking out. TV. TV I see if I'm looking out, looking in, looking I even better. You yeah, sure? Yeah. No, me not, me not, me, you know, me not better for me not sure. You think me a fool? Me not have money for you, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, they're, 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 they're my thought process different from many other people. You yeah, understand? I am doing something that will last. Zane, I am doing something that can be archived and, 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 and available for years to come. You yeah, understand what I say? When people start leaking me and they might do some documentary upon some man and they want some content to buy. I suppose you can go for me and drive and take off some good content. You understand? And and and, and send yeah, a CVM Scotty. Auntie. You owe me. Mm. No, I'm not better. Can I tell you I'm not better with people who owe me from previous bets? Just collect the stuff yeah, from the previous bet or tell her one and give me a difference. Yeah, fool. <laughs> Auntie. So, uh, so I may not need to explain myself to nobody either. But to know my people, and I want to make anything work some more mm. time, I don't want to have questions and concerns. And thing. So sometimes I have to just talk to him about the, that, that, that's just not my thing. You, the energy is that it can't be the same. Yeah, because the truth is when Scotty in at the studio, yeah, so it's a different energy versus here now. You understand? Mm -hmm. And see how much things set up down as Scotty and me still can't control all the variables at times all because the our, inter exactly. our, our, our internet kind of give problem. You see me? I want to be able to control all aspects, the visuals and the audio aspect of the interview. Because I am doing something that I hope will last for generations. So we'll take with time. You understand what I say? Yeah, man. Peeps, big up on yourself, you know. Tuesday, 7 30. Make it a date and don't be late. Don't look for it. Get book for it. We any wonder. Part two. You understand? Yeah, man. And if you don't watch part one, I want I could I could as well now wait, man. Let me not understand that. You see? A wonderful interview. I'm telling you, sir. It is. We anyone that's a person that made me fall in love with music, make me want to select and sit there. 
and these things and <laughs> we can look back for some things that I love the way that we are doing it. Yeah, that's why I think it goes still. We don't want that. Let me have one top guy school one time and go and want to follow back a son and then sit there. You see, but that's why I think uh, everything, everything is a part of the journey. All of those things have led me here. You understand? Yeah. To this point in time. Right. Pips, big up on yourself. Appreciate the support. Zane, love the ones them. You understand? Appreciate the continued love and, and support for the thing. And, 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 and again, apologizing for not streaming last night because we, so we kind of decided on, on Saturday. We had an interview yesterday too. And it fell mm. through, as some mm. tend to do, um, for various reasons. <laughs> you know, we, we won't. as we say, I'm going to write a book, you know. I think the title of the book will be my first 100 interviews. And then, yeah, mm. volumes go after that. Because I have some story for you, you see. Oh, no, oh, no, no, believe some of my story. I mean, tell you, I mean, just laugh. But we just go and do the work. Um, that one yesterday never worked out for reasons unknown. Are known, mm -hmm. depends on which eyes I look through. And think, but hopefully it will happen one day. And thing. It, would, it would have been a very good interview for the music, you understand? And, 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 and the man would have made great contributions to the music and such. So. But we're just out here, we're doing the work, we're taking our time, you understand? Um, we keep on keeping on, you understand? And thing. so, uh, next week, our next interview, our next two interviews, our next three interviews, and we keep moving. You see? So, sis, big up yourself, you know? And publicly, I want to tell you, I me me, me just since and tell you, you know? I appreciate her on many different levels, you understand? But yeah. we talk about personal appreciation to we talk about channel appreciation. I mean, your journey with me, channel wise, kind of came out of you losing your mommy. I mean, we're mm -hmm. always good, but you never know how to come around with me and thing. And you know, mm -hmm. you wanted to focus on other things and take your mind off antidor passing and thing and you have grown to become a very very invaluable member of the team and we appreciate the one yes and appreciate everything happened for a reason we wish mama door did the vote but yeah. probably if she did the vote you, you understand things would end different i just, <laughs> I just, I just jerks when you see the rain fall jerks Oops. blessings over you understand terror fabulous big up yeah. yourself one of the greatest yeah, yeah, me yeah, ask, I it. shall sing. And I'm going to learn the mass here, too. I can't catch all the key and sing it for you. As long as I live, I'm going to stop singing. Pips! Big up on yourself. Scotty, big up yourself. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. It's just after you meet me here again. Mm. See you next week. Yes. Yeah, Saturday. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. No, I'm not going to be at an interview Saturday. Good night, Saturday. Saturday. You know them things. I think there has been some adjustments. Oh, I did send a schedule for, for April. Oh, no, yeah. we need to because there are two to be confirmed two interviews in April already. Um, so we need to send you that. Yeah, you told me that. Plan around that. And then we we'll did that on the third one there. Yeah, my apologies. All right, so look more. Peeps, big up on yourself. What good? Mm -hmm. Step with ya. See if trouble on the gravel. May I go out with me in. Chuck. Sure. You understand? Big up it's on yourself. Then if me did Billy, then me will go out with me in. Chuck. So, so let me just ask you one quick question. So where are we? We just now remember until my stream. Oh, okay. So yeah, remind, you you can't remind me, you know. I don't even say, bro, you, you know, make your outro for your video. Yeah, you sir? <laughs> yeah. Auntie. Peeps, yeah. enjoy your week. Have a productive week. Make some money. You understand? Make mm -hmm. somebody smile. You understand? Yeah. And sometimes all it takes is a kind word, a pat, yeah. a hug. You understand? Sometimes I don't know big nothing. Zane? Yeah, a man. Party and a cocoa bread. A party. Well, that's a big something, you know, brother. Because that's not cheap, you know. But <laughs> I want to tell you about Yeah, there's something there too. Pips, art of love. I'm out. Good night. Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dim YouTube show. Intellectual. Yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. And now. Broadcasting live. We will broadcast live. Live. This is Extra Class. Streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. Hey, let's go. You know, it's Teach Dem, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel.